Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Oh, wait, my mic is positioned weird. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, hello. Thank you for the good luck. I'm going to need it. Um, welcome to the stream. Jimther. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go with. Jimther. Um, if you hear me sniffle today, and if I sound sick, it's because I'm sick. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the first day of my vacation today, so... Of course, I've immediately uh, come down with a cold, as expected. It uh, happens every single time I have a day off. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope I'm not too snivelly. I'll try to keep myself in check. I got my box of tissues with me. I, I don't have any tea because I just drank all of it. I made some bubble tea. It's crazy stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, plan today is get that 500k in, in pinball, in Kirby's pinball land, which evaded me last time. Our uh, highest score was 470-something thousand. I want to say it was 479,000, but that would be super good, and maybe it wasn't that good. Maybe it was just somewhat good, but it was it was close to 500, you know? Um, so yeah, we're planning to get that today. Uh, probably gonna be achieving that through the power of soccer. <laughs> uh, the best part of pinball, as everybody knows, is soccer. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not gonna do too much preamble here. I think that's all that needed to be said. So let's, let's move on to the curbs. Whee! <sighs> okay, let's get these hotkeys working. Okay. Let me just get rid of my idle music. And it's time for some beautiful bit noises. Hope you're ready for this. Oh yeah. It's the good stuff. Okay. Okay, I still remember the two buttons I need to control this game, so that's good. See if I remember anything else as well. Mmm. It's looking like a no. Stop. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there was a there was a soccer mini game star on the screen within the first five seconds, and we didn't get it. Can't believe that. <gasps> okay. Squid also good. My second favorite part of any pinball is the chicken. Farming simulator. Oh god. What I definitely don't remember is the timing for uh, saving the Kirby ball. So if I fall down there... Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're alive. <laughs> I was about to say if I fall down there, I'm dead for sure, but... Still good for now. Oh god. Oh god! <sighs> No. Maybe it's just like Google when you're actually supposed to press it, because I'm still not sure I entirely understand. Oh, that was a good one, apparently. Okay. That was like halfway through the launch. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I honestly just have no idea how that works. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> just want to defeat that boss. Or at least- oh god. <sighs> okay. That was semi-decent apparently. 
Um, or at least get to fight him again, the boss. Oh my god. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Crap. Well, this is this is the practice run. This is just warm up now. <laughs> I want to say the best attempt we had last time was like the... Well, not the best one, because that 470k one came after, but the 420 one? That was like the second run of the day, or run, you know what I mean. So maybe... Maybe that's also where we get the good luck this time. Oh my god. This is the second attempt. That's just what, I, what I'm gonna choose to believe. No, that's not a soccer. Give me... Give me a soccer minigame. Give me. No. <laughs> not the spiky ball. I don't want that. Oh, there it is! The soccer! Hanya! Oh, no! Oh. So close. And yet so far! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Yeet me, Frosty. Alright. Soccer? <gasps> soccer! No! He ate the soccer. <laughs> uh, please. Please, I just want to live. Okay, wait. Hanya! Uh, no, stop bouncing over there! Stop! <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, not nice. I got had the golden tomato and it still fell down. Whoa. Oh yeah, this is this is some advanced stuff. Oh god. Oh. Flip. Okay, yeah, so still, <laughs> still doing very poorly on the um <laughs> the jumping back into it. Alright. No, not Scarfy. That's not what I wanted. Oh heck. Okay, I guess we're spending some time in Scarfy Hell now. Oh god. I don't even understand how this part of the stage works. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I've gone down. It's Scarfy time. I don't like Scarfy. Just wanna I just wanna go back to Mr. Frosty. Oh no. I guess I can at least practice the the timing on that while I'm here. Screw you, Cloud. Oh, there we go. Oh god. Is it would it yeet me if I Landed on top of it while it's raining. Is that how it works? Ooh! Oh no. Okay, just stay stuck in that corner. That's fine. Ooh! No? How did I even make the cloud rain last time? I just hit it multiple times? Is that what it is? Welcome, and yeah, it's uh, oh, nice, I got a thing. It's pinball, and I'm super not good at it, so <laughs> I hope you're not here expecting, like, professional pinball gameplay. It bothers me how that Kirby's just half a Kirby. Oh, now he's got a star on his head. Oh, never mind, it's leaving. <laughs> I don't even understand what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> I just want to go back to the soccer minigame. I don't know why I'm here. I don't want to be in this part of the level. I don't like Scarfy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I just want to know what happens when you go on top of the umbrella. Oh, there is a button to shake the screen. Does it do any good? Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Less shaking, more flipping. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh god. That's very good to know. Oh, I finally landed on it! What does it do? Oh, it just puts me up here. Okay. Whee! Oh! Oh. After all that work. Woo! <laughs> Stop. No? No. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Oh, we're going back up to floor three. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I don't... What am I doing on this one? Oh, Jesus, what is that? Oh, points. That's good. I think in the corner looks evil. Evil moon? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going too fast. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. This is looking... Oh. Mm. Oh, it's frame perfect? I did it a couple times last time, so that must mean I'm actually better than I thought. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> this level. Oh, oh, there we go. I feel like I'm actually earning score faster on this one though than I am on Frosty. The downside is that it doesn't have a soccer mini game. <laughs> At least not that I've found. Oh. Bounce, Kirby, bounce! Oh, too early! Do it again! No, too too low! Come on! I don't... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, man! That could have been the one. What? Okay. Oh? Uh, a star! What if it's a secretly a soccer minigame? Oh my god. It's definitely some kind of minigame. What is this? Oh. Oh, it's like an eating minigame. Yes! That might be better than soccer. Oh no. I'll go in the hole. Oh no! Is the bomb bad? <sighs> Kirby kind of exploded, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, we, we have binging cakes. Is that a leaf? Where am I? Oh my god, I'm going so- What the heck happened to my Kirby? Where is he going? Why is he going? Oh god! <laughs> um, I don't think I want the bomb. No. Away. Oh, maybe it's like a sweet potato. Alright. Okay, we're like a fifth of the way there. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, jeez. Um, 500k. Oh! Oh. I hate that I can still go under the golden tomato. It feels like I'm just... Oh, he did the thing again. Come on, do it now. <gasps> oh, a little bit too early. Oh, there we go. Is he just... Yeah, okay. Hup. Woo! I wonder if um, getting rid of all the stars just does the same thing as getting rid of the little chickens. Like, this is just a boss fight after that. Hanya! Ah, Jesus. Stop it! Stop! Oh no! I feel like I just shouldn't raise the paddles when I have the the golden tomato. I feel like that's what's hecking me up is the the panic raise. Woo. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't like being in this scrap scrafty scarfy room, and I keep calling him scrappy, and I don't know why. Uh. Oh no. Don't. Kirby's not meant to be eaten. He's meant to eat. Ah! Oh, there we go. Finally. All right. Ooh, sweet. Oh. <laughs> well, it was sweet for a second. Oh, come on. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that brief moment of hope every single time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, you're going so close to the middle, it's freaking me out. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. No. That's the wrong one. Oh, Kirby, no. 
Oh, Kirby, no. <laughs> ah, Kirby. All right. Wait, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. I just need to get the same thing on both other Kirby's and then we're fine. Right? Oh! Mm. Mm. Rip. Yeah, I still don't really... <laughs> I'm still not really sure how to do the lift well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get it right like half the time. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, this is like my first time actively playing a pinball game since Pokemon Pinball when I was like six years old. So, um, if I do incredibly not well, <laughs> uh, well, there's, <laughs> there's a reason, I guess. Oh, did I just hit that moon a little bit there? I think it did a little jiggle. Oh. Oh. Welcome, Haz. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Pinball was great, right? I feel like I never finished it, though. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Is it a boss fight? It is a boss fight. Oh my god. Alright, Curb. Let's do this. Whoop! Oh, what is that? What is that move? We just turned into a big cloud boy. That's fine. Oh! Okay. How do I- uh, Stop. No! Oh no! <laughs> Aww. Heck. Alright, well. Oh! Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is just going downhill. Oh no. <sighs> what is the right time on that? Oh god, that was so bad. That was a, that was a waste of a Kirby. Oh no. That was that was also not the time. Oh god. Oh god, I think it's all over. It's not it's not technically over, I guess. If I just do as well as I did on that first life now, I can I can absolutely still make it, right? The question is will I possibly get that amount of luck again? Come on. Oh. I'm just bouncing. I'm not even doing anything. Kirby's just going. <gasps> Ooh! Yes! Love me some mini games. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Let's eat some sweet potatoes! Or whatever that is. Leaf. Come on. I keep missing them just barely. Come on! Kirby, no! <laughs> okay, there we go. That's one. That's another. Oh. Is that a sweet potato? Maybe I'm just thinking about sweet potatoes because I ate some today. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe it doesn't even look like one. Oh! Not the bomb. Kirby, no, not the bomb. Oop. Okay, that was that was not as good as the last one. Yeah, he was, right? I don't know what else it would be other than a sweet potato or a leaf, and I hope Kirby's not out here eating leaves. I know he's got a very resilient stomach and he's probably gonna be fine, but... My guy. Oh no. A toilet wipe? That's so much worse than a leaf! <laughs> I hope that's not what it is! <laughs> Poor Kerbs is gonna ruin his iron stomach. Oh no! No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Oh, I hate being on the lowest screen. It's infinitely more terrifying than being on any other screen. <laughs> Especially when it's Scarfy. Also known as Scrafty sometimes. Oh, don't go in the middle of your soul. You're so good at scaring me, Kirby. Kirby, no, Kirby, 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 Kirp. <sighs> oh no, that's that's right in the middle. That's what I told you not to do, Kirby. 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 Hi, Mudge. Kirby. Oh wait, I gotta put in my beautiful name. I went the wrong way. Kirby. All right. <laughs> All right. Look, it's we're going somewhere. We're get, we're getting close, ish. It was better than the first round today, so we'll just assume it's like a, a, a curve. I kind of want to go back to soccer anyway, even though I felt like I was doing better on that level. I just want to play soccer. Also, this one has a good music. And it doesn't have Scarfy. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Tomato. <gasps> Another tomato. Oh, ah, no. <laughs> oh, now I'm going down. Oh, I'm I'm ready for a pro tip. Need all the pro tips I can get. I need to pause to read this. You can hold the right flipper and time the right to get the right th thought into the bowl. Into the bowel. <laughs> hold on. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna hold it and see what happens. Soccer time! It's the freaking Champions League! Let's go! I'm gonna get all the points. Just watch. Okay, well. Maybe I'll also get blocked a bunch, but. Squid, stop it. I thought you were my friend. I love his old diving animation so much. So good. Can you stop throwing the ball right into the middle? That would be super swell. Let's go! Hi, Nez! Welcome! You joined during the most important part. Oh, Has, thank you for the follow! Jesus Christ. Sorry, I, <laughs> I gotta focus for a second. <laughs> the stress. <laughs> Alright. That was not that was not the best soccer we've ever had, but it was pretty good. No! Maybe I need to wiggle the screen more. What's the wiggle screen button? Oh. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, there was a bomb. Never mind. Alright, and we're going down. Oh no, we're going all the way down. And that was a bad one. That was a super bad one. What was the timing? I forget here. I need to... Uh, I need like a practice uh, mode where I just press A over and over. There we go. Oh, 
That looked like intended almost. Which, I mean, it was, of course. Nintended, as we say. Shake the screen. Okay. <laughs> I gotta- I wish I had the shake screen button on like a- on like a shoulder button. That would be pretty convenient. That's on left. Like I'm using a- I'm using a PlayStation controller because I'm a scrub. And it's on like square. Oh, oh. No. Kirby. Kirbster. Shake, shake. I'm shaking for no reason. I'm just shaking for good luck. No, you monster. Um, <laughs> is he? <laughs> I think he's just a walrus. <laughs> oh, this guy's getting close to my egg. Oh, man. You. Broski, I'm not good enough to flip her over to the right if you keep keep putting the left and uh, if you keep putting the ball on my right flipper i cannot flip it to the right because i don't know how oh jesus christ <laughs> it was just me shaking the screen out of pure panic and achieving absolutely nothing oh i can ah i can shake the screen this button as well um <laughs> not the not a good time to be experimenting but whatever Maybe I can really do the consistent bowl move now. Maybe that's not as hard as I thought it would. Uh, as I thought it was. I can't talk while pinballing, apparently. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pure calm. Oh, let's go. We got the, we got the tomato. Wasn't, uh, wasn't Jack Frost from Persona? Am I making, or am I confusing him with a different Jack Frost? I thought that was like the little, uh, snowman guy. With the hat. Like, white and blue guy. Alright, I don't remember him looking like that, but, I mean, I'll trust you. Whee! Love me some squid action. Chicken, get out of the way. I'm trying to hatch an egg here. Oh my god, chicken. Chicken, you're ruining my life. Okay, never mind. You kind of did pretty good there. <sighs> ah, curbster. Ah, uh, thanks, Haz, for following again, apparently. <laughs> What's up with that? Wait, I didn't see that the did this stream do a proper follow notification the first time? I don't know, I got a I got a second stream element. Are you seeing this? I, I, I mean I guess you are, it's in the chat. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Maybe it just wanted to be extra thankful today. Weird. Um what I meant to meant to ask is did the stream itself have like a little pop-up? I mean, not the chat, but like the, the actual stream. I couldn't look over because I was pinballing. That's not a good score to start the third life on. Oh! <laughs> Straight into the hole. You love to see it. Okay, hold on. No, the bomb! 
was supposed to be my moment. Alright. Back with the chickens. There we go. Oh god. go that's pretty good then then it wasn't <laughs> chicken oh my god please just hit the Kirby so the thing goes away thank you <laughs> no not again <laughs> can I spawn something else launch. Guess I still had some momentum from the lift. Oh, mm, I went. Oh wow, I'm back. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh no. Mm. All right. Momentum gone. Right. Oh, squid. Who needs momentum when you have a squid? Is this squid my friend actually? Cause he he's just mean to me in soccer, but like very kindly launches me up here every time. Or is he actually trying to attack me and it's just like not going very well? I guess that could be it. Ah, uh, okay, hold on. I didn't need to squid that time, I guess. <laughs> oh. Stop. No. No. No, I'm gonna get another one stolen and another one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was gonna be the run until three people stole my chickens. Dude, Arma, I had such a, a hype one that was like actually close on the other stage. Not actually close, it was like 300k, but I got 200k on the first Kirby. It was almost a dream. On the, the, the cursed Scarfy stage of all places. <laughs> like, there's a chance Scarfy is actually like the good stage. Oh no, come on, Curbster. You didn't need to do that to me. It's just unnecessary heart trouble. I don't know if you guys missed us, but we're on the last Kirby. I feel like I've always done the best on the first life, but if you say so, Nez. Come on now. I'm just gonna believe in the you that believes in me. This is not just the last Kirby, he's also been down in the hole like twice. <laughs> this is like the damaged last Kirby, okay? He's already like half into an institute of some sort. He's about to retire, his family's waiting for him back home. It's like a red flag in a war movie. There's no way he's making it! Maybe, maybe that is true. He's like so scarred, but he has like the experience. Oh, the tomato. I got the tomato. Alright, stop exploding all over the place. Although, 
Get rid of that bomb. Speaking of explosions, like that. No, that one. There you go. <laughs> what is this bouncing around I'm doing right now? Stop that. <gasps> Kirby, no! Kirby. Kirby. Kirby! Kirby! Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not. I'm not talking to Kirby with an I. I'm just like saying my own name. Ah, uh, Kirby. <laughs> mm, death always comes so swiftly in this game. <laughs> All right. What if we try to? What if we try the middle stage again? The Scarfy one, also known as Crafty. That one also kind of felt like you could absolutely defeat the the boss if you went, if you tried. And by tried, I mean if you got lucky, because I don't know how to try at, um, <laughs> at pinball. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons and hoping, okay? Oh? We got the rain. Ah, too early, too early, Kirby. Oh! Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, boy! Oh, there we go, there we go, that was it, that was it. Alright. Got it. There we go. Oh, I got hit multiple times, right? I forget. I forget -y. There we go. Again. Still not... Still not it. Maybe it's three times? Yep. Oh yeah! Okay, now we just gotta fuck up the moon. Never mind, we're going down. <laughs> we're not fucking up anyone today. Whoop! Woohoo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, you know how they did those David Attenborough-esque, um, videos for the new Pokemon? For Sword and Shield? Not Sword and Shield. Uh, Scarlet Violet? What is that region called? I forget. Um, Paldea? No. Yes? No. Is it? I don't. I don't remember. Anyway, it, it's like that. <laughs> it's, it's that kind of video. Except they couldn't afford Attenborough, so... The Pokemon's um, announcing itself, <laughs> and it's me. I'm the Pokemon. <laughs> and now I don't evolve. But if you wait like seven generations, you might get a super disappointing evolution where I just get an extra body part in the middle, and people are gonna look forward to it for years, and then everybody's gonna be like, oh. Yeah, I'm trying to do the boss. The problem is I can't. <laughs> I'm not doing anything intentionally, Nez. I don't know if you've noticed, but things are just happening to me and I'm I'm accepting it. Oh, <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, Kirby. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm just back to the second stage like I've been here a billion times. <laughs> into the cloud. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Kirby. Yeah, Kirby. Oh, no Kirby. No Kirby. <laughs> so anybody, anybody want to talk about the Dunsparce? <laughs> Am I the only one that's like incredibly disappointed by ex its existence? I wish Dunsparce never would have gotten an evolution if that's what it's going to be, you know? It's just so stupid. <laughs> I don't think Dunsparce needed an evolution. Oh? That was a pretty tiny- that was a pretty tiny platform and I still made the thing. Oh well, do you want me to explain to you what it looks like? Because you're not gonna have to look up a picture. I promise you, you don't need to see it to know exactly what it looks like. Yeah, or like a dragon evo. There's been so many like cool fan-made um, thingies, fan fan-made uh, dance sports evolutions, and like dance sports megas and stuff like that. First of all, it should have been a mega, right? Let's let's get that straight. If you're gonna add an evolution to a Pokemon like seven gens after it was released, 
at least just make it a mega, not like an actual revol revolution. Evolution. Okay, so here's what the Dunsparce looks like. You know, you know that mean, mean the meme about like bananas, where it's like banana, the banana, 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 nana, where you just repeat a part of the banana to make to make stupid things. It's like that, and that's why it's called the Dunsparce. <laughs> it's just a Dunsparce. And the middle part of the Dunsparce is there twice. <laughs> that's it. That's what it looks like. And then it's a little bit bigger than a regular Dunsparce, I guess. It should have been, at best, like a regional variant where it's just like, oh, the Dunsparce in this region are kind of... They're kind of crazy looking, you know? But they're still Dunsparce. It's not... It's just not an evolution design. I don't know what they were thinking. I can only imagine they were, like, memeing. It's like, oh, the people who really want this Dunsparce evolution? Oh. They're gonna regret wanting that, promise. <laughs> We're gonna give them the worst thing they could have possibly imagined. Oi! There we go. Woo! Oh, oh! We don't need the rain. We don't need the umbrella. We just need pure skill! Okay, never mind. Actually, I think there is a different version of that meme that isn't a banana. For some reason, the banana version was the first thing that comes to mind, but I think the classic one's actually not a banana, it's something else. I can't remember now. Oh? Oh, I don't think I can... There we go! There we go. Never mind, I absolutely can. What's everyone's favorite meme format? I was just thinking about this, and I think mine's like Venn diagrams. I was thinking about it yesterday. And it was partly because I saw that incel XL thing again, which is like my favorite meme of all time. And if you haven't seen it, it's a Venn diagram of like two circles, and one of them says incel and the other says XL. And the, uh, the overlapping part says incorrectly assuming something is a date. It's just so good. I think there was a version of it with a third thing on it as well. But anyway, it's... Hilarious, and I love me some Venn diagram memes. The other thing I really like is that one with the guy that's like in a long hallway. Oh no, the star! <laughs> Got stuck in a corner. No, it does not evolve again. That's the only thing it evolves into, and then it's done. <laughs> I blame that fall on me reading chat. <laughs> Except if we're gonna be honest, it's just incompetence. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's fight that boss, right? We can do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Ah! I almost fell down immediately. Stop, 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 stop. Bouncing so fast, Kirby, you're scaring me, Kirby. There we go, there we go. Okay. Why is it jumping so high now? Oh, wait. Was that a th was that in Kirby where- oh god. No, that's not Kirby, that's like Mario. Or what game is that where you- where there's like a moon or a sun enemy? And if you hit it, it turns into a moon enemy and then the gravity gets all fucky? Is that Mario? Is that like Super Mario Maker or something? <laughs> it's not the chicken level. It's the- it's the Scarfy level. I was doing really well on this one earlier, um, like at the very beginning of the stream. I accidentally went into this one. Oops. Um, instead of instead of Frosty, and it went pretty well, so I thought I'd try it again. <laughs> oh come on, you! Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There was a- oh god. There was like an anti-gravity moon. Ah, <sighs> oh, lame. 
Anyway, the reason I was asking is because that enemy started jumping super high as soon as the moon was out. But maybe that was also just because I like defeated him once and he turned into like a super version of himself. Mm. Wee! Oh, okay. has what you said is like so relatable though like whenever somebody asks like oh what's your favorite tv show it's like i've never watched a tv show in my entire life i don't know i don't know <laughs> i've never i don't know anything i don't know what tv even is jesus christ oh there we go that was a good bounce Okay, full focus, full focus. Okay, never mind, no focus at all required because I'm apparently rolling back down. Breaking bad. That's a good choice, I guess. I remember when my default used to be supernatural. <laughs> remember when that was like a show you could actually enjoy? Ah, that was crazy times. I wish it was, I wish it stayed good or it like ended before it started being not good. Supernatural should have let, like, ended six seasons before it did. <laughs> I think it was like the first four, maybe five seasons of Supernatural that were like good. They made like, what, 12? I'm so mad at how certain character arcs ended. <laughs> I don't want to spoil this stupid show for anybody, in case anyone's still, like, invested, but... Where's Kirby? God, I get so confused with the freaking tomato. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Curbster. Kirby. Curbington. Curbmeister. Kerber. Oh! Cool. Nintended. Yeah, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was a good show. I can't remember if I finished it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, that was definitely that was definitely a good part of it. Just keep bouncing, Curbster. Yeah, just like that. Good job, guy. I did a lot. Did you see? That was all me. I was definitely, I was definitely manipulating the RNG to make him do that. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, I have never seen a saw leader. Speaking of TV shows, I never finished Daredevil. I watched like the first one and a half seasons and then I was like, oh. Suddenly I don't care anymore. <laughs> but that's, that's me with like Marvel content in general at this point. I was so disappointed in, in I was at Doctor Who and <laughs> the second Doctor Strange movie. Um, it looked so bad. I don't know if that was just me. I feel like I didn't see anybody else comment on it, but then again, I didn't like actively look up reviews, so that might be part of the issue. But it was just like so ugly looking, the whole movie. The CG was so awful in it. I don't know. It was just really weird. And there was a lot of CG in that movie. You'd expect it to look good. Speaking of movies that didn't look as good as I thought they would, Avatar 2. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Oh man, it's like Avatar 2, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna throw out a bunch of takes today because I don't care. Um, Avatar 2, right? It's like, it's not like it's super ugly, but every time there was a single shot that was like, um, kind of zoomed out and they were like interacting with animals of any sort, or even if it was just uh, the Navi themselves like running fast, any shot like that, for some reason, it just looked like a video game cutscene. I don't know why, but there was something about the way the camera direction was, I think, and like the CG, that just made it look so weird. Like all the close-up sh uh, shots and stuff looked so good and I enjoyed them like talking and some of the fighting scenes, but like 
Anytime they did like running or swimming or flying, it was like, what the fuck am I looking at? I feel like I'm watching a Monster Hunter cutscene. I just, <laughs> I don't know what it was with that movie. It was so weird. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, this is my hot movie takes for today. Oh God, is the star gonna despawn? Okay, now. Yeah, there's some fighting in Avatar. It's also my favorite thing about Avatar 2 is just the fact that it's mostly a retelling of Moby Dick, but with blue people. <sighs> Nobody saw that boss attempt just now, right? I sufficiently distracted you with talk about blue people. Uh, I have not watched a Monster Hunter movie. I imagine it does not look as good as Avatar. So. <laughs> yeah, there, w there was no boss attempt. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Oh my god! <clears throat> I've always been on this part of the stage. I never fell down. I'm just gonna gaslight you guys so hard that it's gonna turn into me being good at the game for real. <laughs> That's how gaslighting works, right? You just convince people of the truth until it becomes the truth. Or, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That was so smooth. Oh my god. Woo! Whoa! I think that I think the gaslighting worked, honestly. <laughs> like this is actually going pretty good right now. Come on, hit the moon. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, there we go. Actually hit the guy. Hit him again. Hit him again! Oh my god, are you seeing all these hits? Oh, he turned into a cloud. <sighs> no, Kirby! I say, knowing full well it was probably my fault. I'm sorry, Kirby. I don't mean to blame you. Let's just go back in there and get some more points, okay, Kirby? Okay, Kirby. Kirby. Kirby, no need to be like that. You we can be friends still. We can cooperate. We can be buddies, pals. Good. <sighs> Good colleagues, at least. You know, like, acquaintances, maybe. You can start slow. It's okay. I understand if you're... Worried about rushing into this relationship or or whatever. We can we can take it so we can You know, we can just We don't even have to to like go on a date with just the two of us. You can bring a friend Kirby. It's okay If you don't feel safe, you know, we can we can do like a double date <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying at this point. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've lost myself um, Anyway <laughs> Anyway, I wish this was still the first life. <laughs> oh, well, the thing about the double date is you can order food for four people and then share, which I think that's like my favorite thing to do is like not eating half of my own food and instead eating somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, listen. <laughs> That part came early today, <laughs> I think. At least there haven't been any death threats, so. Yeah, like I just like going um, going out to eat with people. And obviously you need people that are also cool with doing that. And then just like sharing all the food. Like I just wanna try everything on the menu without having to commit to going there like 20 times to try everything, you know? My favorite thing is just also ordering appetizers. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like appetizers 90% of the time are like the best thing on the menu. <laughs> it's like the main courses are good, but especially in the, at like Asian places, I just like any sort of like Asian food. I feel like they have such good appetizers. I just want to eat those all day. Oh, come on, you. Oh, appetizer nights? That sounds amazing. <laughs> Kirby, what was that? That's not what we agreed on, Kirby. 
Kirby. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. You silly goose, Kirby. You didn't mean that, did ya? Nah, you didn't. You're not gonna do that again, are you? You're a good boy, Kirby, aren't you? Hmm? This is not toxic. I'm just trying to, I'm just <laughs> trying to encourage you. <laughs> Promise. Oh my god. Yes, Kirby! See? This is what you're capable of achieving, Kirby. You don't you don't gotta do that stupid shit you just did. You can be nice and good and Ooh. You know. Oh my god, the speed! Stop going so fast, Kirby, you're scaring me. Remember what I said about taking it slow? I was projecting. I'm the one that wanted to take it slow, Kirby. I'm just scared of committing! <laughs> okay. I wonder what would happen if you actually cleared all the stars. If anything would happen, even. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 I don't know what that move was. Oh my god, stop doing it. You're scaring me. Can't hit him. Oh, he just doesn't take damage. That's not good. Oh, this is the one. Woo! I mean, I guess I prefer him doing that over him shooting lightning and immobilizing my, uh, my little flippers, at which point I don't know what to do. Other than, you know, wait as I die. Whoop. You'd think his hitbox would go bigger and he turns into a massive cloud. No, no, Kirby, 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 Kirby. <sighs> That's fine. We got some points out of that. That's all that matters. We can go back up there. It's fine. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, on a scale of like, Moby Dick to 10, I think Avatar 2 was like a solid, like a 6, maybe like a 5.5. <sighs> and that's, <laughs> that's my finishing statement for today. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Eyo, nostalgia time! Welcome to the stream! Uh, Raito Ame? No, Amo. That's an O. I can read. Raito Amo. Raito Amo. Raito Amo? Okay. I guess I don't really have nostalgia for this because I've never played it before, but <laughs> there's something about like these old retro games that just feels automatically nostalgic, even if you haven't played them. Oh, that was that was smooth. That was some pro Kirby handling. Oh, Curbster. Oh, Curbster, don't go into the hole. <laughs> the beeps and the boops. Yep. There's our for sure part of it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, Kirby. Slow and steady wins the race, apparently. Do that again. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Yep. Yep. Alright. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet! That was a nice bounce. <laughs> ah. Oh boy. Those are slightly less nice bounce. Yep, I just enjoy hitting these clouds, honestly. It's so good. So much fun. Oh! Let's kill the sun. Wee! 
Hold on. But yeah, what I was trying to say is that I think James Cameron's Avatar 2 is better than Herman Melville's Moby Dick. <laughs> that's, that's really the only statement I was trying to make earlier. Although, admittedly, only one of them has a guy wearing a whale penis. So, you decide which one's truly better. Come on, Kirby, you don't gotta go straight into the hole, do you? You can cut me a little bit of slack. Okay. Apparently he can't. I don't know, I've never watched Moby Dick either, I've only read it, but... <laughs> I'm saying, like, the book is... The, bo the book is worse than the movie. Do you think you could call Avatar 2, like, an adaptation of Moby Dick? And make a... Make like a point of it being like a case of the the book being worse than the movie for once. Oh, warp star. Okay, well, I don't think we're getting to that though. Nope. 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 Um, that wasn't ideal. That wasn't an ideal first life. But it could have been worse. Why does my mic feel like it's so in my face today? I feel like it's actually further away than usual, but somehow I can see less than usual. Maybe I'm just sitting weird. I'm quite comfortable for once. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see, what other movies are secretly Moby Dick adaptations? No, but I feel like- no, genuinely, okay. I know this sounds crazy, but genuinely, I do think James Cameron was inspired by Moby Dick when he made this movie. I'm not even joking. Like, first of all, right? There's a super obvious one where the guy- okay, spoilers. Minor spoilers for um, Avatar 2. I'm gonna try not to name any names, so it's, it's not serious. But there's a scene where a guy literally dies the exact same way that Captain Ahab does. Like, straight up. First of all, he loses an- was it an arm or a leg? I don't remember. He loses a limb in like the most ridiculous way ever, which is the exact same way that that Ahab dies still, uh, which is like getting it trapped into in a in like a rope, and then a whale creature of sorts pulls on it and like rips his fucking arm off <laughs> somehow, <laughs> and then you know still tangled into that like rope, he gets pulled underwater by the whale creature and he dies. Which is 100% the ending of Moby Dick. Like, I'm not joking. It's exactly what happens to Captain Ahab. He loses his leg by, um... I don't actually remember if there was a rope involved in that one. I think Moby Dick just bites it off, honestly, the first time. But the second time, he, like, gets tangled up in a, in a rope and Moby Dick pulls him under it and he dies. Like, that's it. That's exactly what happens, okay? So he literally, like, he took that scene and he just... Like, it's the exact same scene, okay? Like, there's not even any sort of like, oh, it's just like a vague reference. No, it's 100% it's the same thing that happens. And then... Jesus Christ. And it's like he makes him lose a limb, like, immediately before that happens, just so you, you're like, oh, it's just like Ahab, you know? He doesn't have a leg. And then, the whole movie itself, right, is about a character who is evil and very fixated on one specific thing, chasing another character and wanting him dead. And then, at the end of the movie, guess what? It's not the character that wants... Wait, hold on. <laughs> I need to focus up for a second. It's not the it's not the character that is being chased that dies. Just like in Moby Dick, where Moby Dick is the one that survives, and it's like everyone else dies, because turns out, chasing people just because you want them dead isn't, isn't like, good. <laughs> Even if the people are not people and are in fact whales. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm not making a lot of sense, partly because I'm focusing on pinball a little bit, but... But I swear... I swear it's similar. <laughs> I swear! <laughs> it's... Avatar 2. Avatar 2 is a retelling of the classic Moby Dick story. That's- that's all I'm saying here, okay? 
That's all I'm saying. Have I ever been in this, um, on the, in the left one, by the way? Wispy? Maybe that one's like really- oh wait, I have been. It was the one of the ghosts that kind of sucked. I remember now. I re immediately regret coming here. And I'm already going down the hole. And I'm going all the way down. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this one's- this one's terrifying. It's got like weird gravestone things on the side. It's got spooky mummy eye. I don't like this place. Oh god. Yeah, this- can I just undo choosing this double? <sighs> Is it? <laughs> Apparently we're not allowed to hear it for more than like three seconds at a time, so... Oh, I want to go into the Kirby slot machine. Wait, you don't go into it? I made a UFO up here, apparently. Am I... Am I doing it, right? Too Kirby. Oh, it's like it changes whatever it's on at the moment. But how do I... Oh, I got tomato! Oh, it's leaving. Never mind. Oh, I got it. Cool. Oh! You swallowed me. Oh. Okay. Okay. What am I doing here? No, nothing. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> so now, the question is this, right? If Avatar 2 is actually Moby Dick, what does it say about Titanic? <laughs> what classic book is Titanic an adaptation of? <laughs> Secretly. Um, I don't think I'll be back in time to make that tomato. Nope, it's gone. Actually, I guess Titanic is already like a semi-real event that happened. So it's probably just based on that, isn't it? I mean, not probably. Like, it, it is. <laughs> How about Avatar 1? Avatar 1's probably just like... Pocahontas, but worse, right? It's just like exploitation of native people. And I don't even mean the story. There was like a bunch of controversy about, I think, was it the music they composed for it? Um, being like super racist <laughs> in its existence. I don't remember, I don't remember what it was in the language as well. There was some, there was some kind of thingy about, I think they did like a lot of research into like, I don't know, like native languages and, and, and stuff. And then James Cameron was like, that's cool and all, but I don't like how it sounds. I'm throwing all this research out the window and I'm just making some random shit up. And that's what we're doing. Like I feel, <laughs> I feel like I definitely remember hearing something like that. And then the music was also, like, just weirdly ethnic, but in, like, the worst way. Or so I've heard. I don't- I don't entirely recall what happened there, but... I just remember some- some controversy stuff. Alright, well, we're on our last life, so... <laughs> um, how many- yeah, 45k? Yeah, we can make- we can get 450k in... in soccer. <laughs> right now, right? <sighs> Wrong. We're going down. And I'm not yelling timber. <laughs> oh! We're going all the way down. And we're dead. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna mute myself for a second here just so I can move my mic arm a little bit because it feels off.
Okay, so I think I made it worse. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somehow it's like simultaneously too high up and too low. Um, and also, um, my, my game froze, I think. Hello? Hello? Game? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Alright. Um, shoot. What am I- <sighs> What did I heck up now? Like, it's so low that the cable is like almost touching my hand, which is bad, because when I touch that, it makes bad audio. But at the same time, it's so high, it's kind of in a way. Alright. Maybe I, maybe I did pause it somehow, but I feel like if you press start on the, the score, it usually goes back to... Oops. Ah, that works. Whatever. To, um... To the main screen. Oh well. Oh my god. Can we not go into the hole immediately, please? Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder if you could actually make a an argument out of the whole Humpty Dumpty Titanic thing. <laughs> I'm like thinking about it now. Oh my god. You know, Titanic is really just a story about the human condition. Wanting so much, even though, you know, we're not- we're not ready. Thinking we're entitled to amazing technological discoveries. When we're just not. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. But yeah, um, if you guys haven't read Moby Dick, you shouldn't, first of all. But if you do, um, there's exactly two highlights that really make it worth it. And I'm gonna tell you them right now, so actually you don't have to read the book after this. So, number one is, um... Well, you need you need to understand something first. There's a lot of like homoerotic tension between the main character uh, Ishmael, the the narrator, and his roommate? Question mark. He's like his roommate at the inn, and then also they they join um, the ship together, the Pequod. Uh, he's a cannibal. His roommate. Um, <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates, by the way. Um, and for some reason he just keeps, like, he just keeps describing him and things that just make him sound very impressive and make Ishmael himself sound incredibly gay. Um, I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's entirely unintended, I'll be honest. Anyway, there's this amazing scene where Ishmael, the cannibal guy, and honestly a lot of other people, like, pretty much all the, the shipmates, um, they just emptied out a whale. And, you know, they're they're hunting sperm whales, and uh, the stuff they're getting out of the whales, they call it sperm. It's not like the actual sperm of the sperm whale, it's like it's, you know, whatever, it's, it's the stuff you make like candles out of. I don't know English, but it's that. But they call it sperm, because, I don't know, sperm whales, you know? We don't question that. Um, yeah, like whale oil. <laughs> I don't know. You can make whale candles out of it, you can use it to light like oil lanterns and you can, I don't know, you, you make whale things out of the whale sperm. Anyway, there's a scene where they're like kneading the sperm 
Because apparently you need to knead it and like warm it up with your hands to make it malleable or I don't know why the fuck they're doing it, but they're doing it. They've got their hands in the sperm, okay? It's a whole bucket of sperm and they got their hands in it. And he describes how like the sperm makes your hands all like soft and stuff. And it's like really, it's really good for your skin, I guess. Um, <laughs> and it's just like so nice. And he describes how good it feels to have his hands inside the sperm and all that. And then while he's kneading the sperm, he's like, oh, and then I accidentally brushed against the hand of one of my crewmates. And we both enjoyed how soft our hands were. And then we held hands inside the sperm and it was this magic moment. And it's just like, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> um... So th that is one of the good scenes in Moby Dick, the the magic sperm holding, sperm hand holding, sperm holding. Um, it's just you know it's very relatable in in some ways and <laughs> incredibly not relatable in others. Um, I did not read a fanfic. I can I'll find that freaking part of the book for you if you want me to. But um, that was one thing, and then there was another scene that I thought was incredibly good. Which is incredibly vague as well, like he doesn't ever s use the word whale penis, but you get it, you know, you, you just, you know what's happening. <laughs> Where he just, it's just a one-off chapter, it's like one page long, and it's one, one full-on page of him just describing how this guy, um, he's like a, he's like a ship priest, I think, in a way. Was that what it was? No, I think he just describes, no, he just, um compares his clothing that I'm about to get to to like a priest's robe. That's all it was. Uh, I don't remember what he actually does, like his job on the ship, but it doesn't matter. Essentially, it's just like, oh, you know, they they killed another whale or whatever, they, the whale's on the ship. And guess what? It's this guy's time to come out now, right? And this guy, you know what he does? He takes the whale's penis, right? And he just cuts a hole in it. Then he cuts two smaller holes. Right? And then he just puts it on. And he just wears it like a robe. And he looks like a priest. Wearing a robe. And that's it. That's the whole chapter. That's it. <laughs> you don't get any explanation for why the fuck he's doing this. Um, it just happens. It's never re referenced again. It's just one F chapter of- Oh yeah, by the way, there's this funny guy- There's this like one guy on the ship. And whenever we catch a whale, he just wears his dick. And that's it. <laughs> and you're just like- <laughs> Okay, Herman, I'll- I guess I'll believe you on this. I guess- I guess you're telling me the truth. Turns out, 18th century, people were just wearing whale dicks for funsies. Sure. I think he actually has some explanation for it, like how it's like waterproof or some bullshit. I don't remember. There was some kind of reasoning to him wearing the whale dick, I think. But it's just like, so out there for no reason. And then I went into a, a whole thing when I read that chapter where I started Googling and I, because I never, I didn't know what a whale dick looked like. It was like, how the fuck, how do you wear one, you know? So I look it up and I find this whole thing of like people saying that, um, like Loch Ness sightings, right? Are actually just whale penises because whale dicks kind of just look like Loch Ness, like a, the Loch Ness monster. It's like... It's- it's really crazy, honestly. I think they're onto something, to be honest. Like, it's too similar looking to be anything but the truth. Oh my god. Oh no! Curpster! Okay. Oh my god, did I actually kill one of them? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, I can actually do this, maybe! Come on! No, Kirby! 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 Kirby... Kirby, Kirby, deine Welt sind die Berge. Kirby, Kirby. I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. You guys know, you guys like Heidi? You guys ever watch Heidi? Did that air wherever you live? Is that a, is that a thing? I actually know. It's like a, it's like a Japanese cartoon. It's like an anime, technically, but for some reason. I mean, not for some reason. It was incredibly popular here because, you know, we're in Alps country. 
Uh, I think it's uh, Heidi's like a Swiss story, so technically it's not set in Austria, but it might as well be. You know, it, fe it feels like it should be, or it feels like it is, because the Alps are the Alps. It doesn't matter if they're Swiss Alps or Austrian Alps or whatever. So that was like a very big part of a lot of children's childhood. Yeah, sure, <laughs> children's childhood. Um, that was definitely a thing here, is what I was trying to say. Oh, I thought I could hit in another one. Lame. Um. But yeah. Anyway, karaoke stream coming, never. <laughs> Can't you tell I'm winning right now? Also, it's not about winning. It's about making the most of of my Moby Dick obsession. <laughs> Was there anything else that needed saying about Moby Dick? I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm good. The only thing I like about Moby Dick, honestly, is the fact that it ends with Moby Dick still alive. Like the fact that Moby Dick wins, and it, like Captain Ahab is the one that that gets brutally murdered. Good. He deserved that. I guess it's like a whole statement on it, like how bad it is to be obsessed with things, which it's not even like it's not even like a hidden message, you know, because he says like every other sentence that um, Captain Ahab is like a monomaniac. I think that's the word, right? Like he literally uses that like once a chapter. It feels like it's ridiculous. It's just like just in case, right? Just in case you didn't notice, he's obsessed with this thing and it's not good. All right, just. Make sure you get that. You don't want to be obsessed with random white whales, okay? It's not good. Nobody likes you when you're obsessed with white whales. It makes you old and boring and also kills you. <laughs> Specifically, it gets you killed by a random white whale. I guess. Like, Moby Dick is like a genuinely like a good guy, where he's like, he's like saving other whales that are about to get killed, you know? He's just out here trying to protect his friends and family, and this fucker, right, this fucker who just goes and sticks his leg into Mo Moby Dick's mouth for no reason, is like, I can't believe you bit off my leg when I put it in your mouth. Fucking awful being. Also, his leg is made out of, like, ivory. His new peg leg. And I feel like that's just a whole thing, you know, like... Like, getting your leg bitten off by a whale, and then making a new leg out of whale. It's gotta be a, It's gotta be some kind of bad omen right there. <gasps> oh, man. And that's why we don't kill whales. Anyway, you guys read any good books lately? Because clearly I haven't. Just kidding, I actually read a lot of good books since I read Moby Dick. Because it was like one of the first books I read this year. Or finished this year. I started it like... I think in 2017 it was, and I finished it this year. So that tells you how invested I was in the story and how good it was. But um... Oh, the star's leaving. It left. It left. Book's good. I think my favorite book I read this year is still uh, Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow. Wait, what was it? Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. There we go. The title's a bit different in, in German. That's why I always get confused. Um, that was really that was really cute and sad. I enjoyed it immensely. Oh god. Oh no! No, that felt 
like such a good one until it wasn't. Alright, we got another score on the leaderboard. Car. I'm gonna do a bedtime story stream where I just read a book to you. Except that's probably like illegal because it's like copyrighted material and I don't want to do it. But um, <laughs> yeah, we're we're getting somewhere for sure. I'm not sure if closer is where we're getting, but can fix. Oh yeah, I could read you um. You know Project Gutenberg, where they like upload old books that don't have like copyright stuff anymore? The only book I remember getting from that is one that I could certainly read to you, uh, and that is The Count of Monte Cristo. We'll be here for about like five years until I'm done reading, and um, <laughs> and you're not gonna like it. Because <laughs> it's first of all, all the characters are like French, and not all of them, but like 90% of them. So I won't be able to say any names, right? And then it's also gonna be like pretty boring. <laughs> I mean, the concept, the concept of uh, kind of Monte Cristo is very, very nice and stuff, but it's just a very long book that doesn't need to be as long as it is, really. Like you can get the the point of the cross with like just a few of those character arcs. We didn't need every single one of them, I feel like. <laughs> but that's just me. Today is just being critical of classical literature day. But if you wanna if you wanna enjoy the kind of Monte Cristo, I strongly um, recommend uh, the manga adaptation. <laughs> like genuinely, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> They've condensed it down to the interesting parts. Uh, what is this? Not reading the names would make it more appealing to listen to, especially if you change it every time. I mean, I don't even know how to pronounce the author's name. That's where that's where we're starting. Dumas, Duma. Maybe it's Duma, like Duma Key. No, but Jenny, there's a. I can link the mail later, but there's a there's a manga 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 version of um of the kind of Monte Cristo that I that I read and actually really liked. <laughs> the anime is fine. It's not related to the manga at all. There's uh, the manga is like an actual adaptation of the book essentially, and the if you haven't seen the the anime, it's like what if Monte Cristo. The kind of Monte Cristo was a vampire, and also it was set in space, like on Mars, for no reason. Um, and also there's mechs. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. Honestly, I don't hate it, but <laughs> I don't love it either. And I feel like it could have been an entirely just like standalone anime that didn't need to be called the Mount, the kind of Monte Cristo, the Mount of Monte Cristo. <laughs> Yeah, like, visually it's pretty interesting, right? I feel like. I know Era hates it, um... <laughs> but... Yeah, it's like, oop! It's like a decently interesting execution. I just, again, I don't- I just don't think it needed to be the kind of Monte Cristo to work. But... Whatever. Um, well, Maj, actually we already did, uh, in the book club, we... The, the Count of Monte Cristo. You might have noticed Era has it in her status still, I think. Because she never freaking finished it. <laughs> um, but that book is like 1,200 pages long or something like that. It's a bit long. It's a bit long. Whoop. Come on now. Oh, the Mount. <laughs> I can't read. Yeah, we didn't do the Mount of Monte Cristo. That's right. <laughs> Somebody write that fanfic and I'll read it. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> the mounting of Conte Cristo. <laughs> you can decide if it's about a mountain or if it's about him getting railed. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I would reward that. <laughs> I guess it could be about horses. <laughs> It's like, it's like the, you know, you know, Jojo, Steel Ball Run, you know, you know, Jojo Part 7, it, it would be to, to Monte Cristo, but Jojo Part 7 is to Part 1, <laughs> the amount of Monte Cristo, it's, <laughs> it's a cross country race featuring the laws of physics and aesthetics and also, somebody's getting railed in a shed somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, it's not as funny as I think it is, I'm sorry. Oh, I just love the kid the amount of content. <laughs> oh god, I got like tears in my eyes. <laughs> I don't even care that I'm dying right now. It's all worth it for the amount of Contacrist. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Um <laughs> Okay. Okay, got that out of my system. Time to focus again. Ah, boy. <laughs> Alright. Hey, it was pretty good for the first life. After that, it kind of... Went to shed a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Maybe because of the amount of Conta Cristo, but <laughs> but I think it was just it was just not meant to be. Oh, shake. Good luck, shake. <laughs> oh, plus B. I should figure out what that actually means. The whole plus B and plus M. Oh, scrappy time. I mean, Scarfy. Fuck. <laughs> Isn't that a Pokemon, Scrafty? Is that why I'm saying that? I think it might be. That was the one with the pants, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What does it evolve into, or is that the Evo? I don't like that Pokemon. It kind of reminds me of a ball sack. Or like a, I guess, foreskin. get all the, the good Pokemon topics today. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the worst thing about all of that is if I ever raid somebody, what if that's the clip that plays, you know? Like, how am I gonna... <laughs> how am I gonna explain that? <laughs> like, oh yeah. I play pinball professionally, except when I when I die three times in a row because I'm laughing at them. <laughs> the amount of content, <laughs> the amount of content, Crystal. I can't even say it. It's it's not even that funny. <laughs> oh, Scrafty to evolution. Okay. What's the baby get on? What's the baby called? Scraggly. Or maybe it's actually Scarfy. Maybe they're related. Every time I say Scarfy, I kind of feel like I'm about to say Garfield. Scarfield. <laughs> Think of anybody ever like do that? Like uh, a combination Scarfy from Kirby and Garfield. Scarfield. And I guess it makes sense, right? Because Scarfy comes from them like being like scarfing down things. Hungry boys. And Garfield is also a hungry boy. So it's honestly, it's not unthinkable. Hunya! 
Honestly, I don't know if it's um, much because of what you said. I'm not sure if it's Kirby bringing out the best of me or if it's the fact that I think I'm running a fever. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely pretty ill today. Um, it's mostly just a runny nose, but I have been feeling strange all day. I might genuinely have a fever. <laughs> but I haven't looked yet. Um, as, as long as I don't check, you know, it's not real. Oh, I got rid of the teleportation of the warp store. remember to like wiggle the screen sometimes <sighs> exactly and then the other thing is like I have oh boy my default temperature is like 35.8 or something like that Celsius which is you know a bit low but on the lower end but then when I check my temperature I can like, I can like adjust, you know, like if it's, if it says like 36.8, like yeah, technically that's a fever for me, you know, oh Jesus Christ, <clears throat> I think that's a sign I need to hydrate, like technically that's a fever, right, but because it's like a degree over my, my average temperature, <laughs> but I can be like, oh, it's like, it's like barely over the normal temperature, it's so really, is it a fever? Nah, it's not, except then when I'm like, I don't want to go to work today. I can be like, 36.4? That's like way higher than my normal temperature. <laughs> oh god. I must be too sick to go to work today. <laughs> it's, it's very convenient. Mm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's nice, right? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I need to reset that follower goal because for some reason I got rid of the title. I tried setting like a, a thing for like 50, you know? Uh, and I named it like... Emojis unlocked or something. But it went away! It just says follower goal. Again, I think. At least it did when I checked. So I think I have to like set it during the stream. Come on. For it to like actually stick. Maybe. <laughs> I wish there was like a, a pause menu where you could just, you know, go back to the main screen and restart the thing because you're like, I just died with 13,000 points and there's no way this is going anywhere. But no, we're, uh, we're playing through the whole thing now. I mean, I guess I could restart the game, but it feels excessive, you know? It's like restarting is not an intended feature. Not an intended. That was a pretty bad lift. Oh no! Curbster! Kirby. <sighs> As some edge my head. Yeah, I could, but what if I oh god. <laughs> I was about to say, what if I get 500 k points right there? <laughs> Oh yeah, that would also be a good feature. <sighs> oh! Alright, I guess we're going for Frosty. Oh no, my squid! Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Wait, I was originally gonna tell you guys about the book I read that I actually enjoyed. But I got distracted by... <laughs> well... <laughs> you know. You know what I got distracted by. <laughs> I don't- we don't need to see it again. 
It was very raw squid. You guys... You know about that... That Korean food thing, right? <laughs> about... Like, eating raw squid. Not, not raw, but like, alive. Pretty much. Is it alive? No, I think it's not alive. Um... I think they put like salt on it so to make a move or something and then eat it. I don't remember. Something like that. It's not it's not like curly alive, but it's like it's it's still almost alive. To the point where it like can stick to your to the inside of your throat and like kill you. I just wonder what the appeal of that is, you know. Like I would try most foods. I'm not I'm not above trying like insects or whatever. What I wouldn't want to try is foods that could potentially murder me. <laughs> Just doesn't seem like a good way to spend my time. Yeah, but like the suckers on it still works. It can like suck onto your throat or whatever. Just seems like a bad idea. I don't know. Not, not judging, but just from an evolutionary standpoint, I don't see why you would want to eat things that would murder you. I mean, you can kill- you kill- you can eat <laughs> things that would kill you, uh, even if you skip the seafood, you know. There's gonna be options. Oh! Admittedly, the other thing I was thinking of was fugu, which- that's also seafood. Although I guess it's- it's a fish. Is that seafood to you? People usually use seafood to to describe things that live in the ocean that aren't fish, right? But um, squid. Um, what was I saying? Right, I guess fugu, fugu though, fugu I'd eat because you get to you get to have like the license and stuff, right? To be able to or to be allowed to like sell it, and I trust somebody that has the skill to prepare fugu and that would eat it but the the squid thing right that's not that's not a skill issue that's just rng if get killed by squid yes no maybe i just i just don't think that seems like a very good idea <laughs> anyway this book got right <laughs> uh the tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow again when you guys will probably enjoy it if you enjoy retro streams, because it's about retro gaming, in a way. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I wanted to pause because I, I felt that sneeze coming on, but I couldn't make it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It was weird because I had my mouth open. You ever you ever sneeze with your mouth open? It feels so wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> I don't want the squid. I want the star. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I'll use this chance to <laughs> clean my nose. Ah, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm starting to suspect the game doesn't like it when I click out while I'm on the screen. Oh, there it goes now. <sighs> Kinda get stuck on it then. <sighs> All right, let's try this one again. In the frosty. Oh! Nice. Oh, no! <laughs> if only my reaction speed wasn't that of a turtle. Actually, I don't know that turtles have, like, bad reaction times. I'm assuming, because they're generally, 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 whatever, regarded as, like, slow.
Yeah. Wouldn't that make them... Wait. Which ones are the land ones? Is that a tortoise? Tor tor tortoise? Tor tortoise. Tortoise. Or is, the, is that the water one? <laughs> I guess the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were like land turtles, so... I feel like tortoise should be the water one, right? But then they also lived in like the sewers, which is kind of like water. <laughs> Did you know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? were called the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in the UK because ninjas were, like, too violent. Random fun fact for today. That was a- that was some good bouncing. No, it's like- It's- the ninjas are, like, warriors and they- they kill people, so... Hero Turtles. <laughs> Which, I mean, they have, like, violent weapons, right? So... Doesn't really make that much of a difference, I feel like. Yeah, you prefer Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles? <laughs> Got a certain ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> the other one. <laughs> I forgot what else I talked about. Um... <laughs> Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. You know, I spent like a summer uh, of my childhood just obsessed with that song. The song that consists of like one line. At least I only knew one line of it. And I sang that like all the time when I was in the pool, like through the, the snorkel. Just like, just like that one line, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on repeat. Yeah, it definitely has more lyrics, but also I was a child and I did not speak English at the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, I could I could feel it. You know, it's it's because I spent the whole summer singing it through a snorkel that I can just like sync up with that song perfectly. What are the chances Kirby's just never gonna move again? Okay, too bad. I was hoping I would just get five hundred thousand points by him just getting stuck. Um, but yeah. I, I was a weird child um, in that way because I also had a, a summer where I was obsessed with uh, the commercial uh, jingle. Jingle? For. Is that, jingle is not the right word. What is it called? Jing, jingle? Is that a word? Anyway, the. <laughs> the song, anyway. The jingle. Yeah, sure. That they uh, had for this laundry detergent. Um, or it was actually. It was like. It was like a thing to put in your washing machine to get rid of the... I want to say calcium, but that's not the right word. You know what I mean, right? The calc. Whatever you call that. Um, the bad gunky. Excellent little Stephen King reference. Um, anyway, they had a song. A jingle. <laughs> and it was also like a one-line thing. And I just... I was just like, s like sitting on the swings outside of our apartment complex like the swings set that like belonged to the apartment and I just sang that freaking washing machine jingle over and over and over again on repeat um, I'm assuming it was incredibly annoying to anybody that might have heard but yeah <laughs> it's just as a child I just would sing random songs and guess what that hasn't actually changed I do that a lot when I'm like doing stuff at home. I just start singing about what I'm doing and things like that. Or I start singing advertisement songs. That still happens as well. Um, like whenever I hear a, a song or like a an ad on the radio that's a song, it gets stuck in my head so quick. Which I guess m means that their marketing departments are doing a good job. I'm very susceptible to musical musical marketing <laughs> Boop. yeah I don't think this this was a case of a good song I'll be honest if anybody knows it's uh 
It's a company or a thingy called Kaigun. The laundry detergent thing. That's not laundry detergent, but whatever. The thing you put in your washing machine. Yep. Waschmaschinen leben länger mit Kaigun. Bling, bling. It was like that. that. That's it, by the way. It's like a it's like a five second thing. And I just sang that over and over and over and over again for an entire afternoon on the swings. And only after I did that, I realized that was fucking embarrassing. I hope nobody heard me, you know? After I was singing it for like hours. Just out in public. As you do. <sighs> Good times. All right, all right, my guy. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Kalgoons everywhere. No. Yeah, the other thing that always gets them stuck in my head is car glass, but just a service that replaces, um, yeah, like your windshield. Not replaces your windshield. <laughs> they do like they do like repairs. I don't know. They put some stuff on it, some gunk. Maybe they replace it too. I don't know. But it's not even a song, it's just like it's just like a sentence. <laughs> but it gets stuck in my head constantly. And then it was some kitchen one that I don't remember now. I think it's Dan Dan Küchen. But I don't remember what the the thing is now. Many in a küche boy dun dun. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I remember. I remembered. Yeah, that's annoying too. And that was that was extra bad because um when I was in school earlier this year, uh, they used to play like the radio to wake us up. And you know because of the time, they always woke us up at the same time. There was usually the same advertisement on on the radio at the time as well because that's just how things work. Um, so I just heard that stupid song, like, every single morning as I was getting up. I was prob probably, like, did some permanent damage to my psyche. <laughs> oh, Kirby, you bounced too soon. There you go. actually have a point or anything when I was telling that story. Was it even a story? Not really. <laughs> it was incredibly coherent. I feel like I, I just constantly lose my track of Jesus Christ. Um, My thought because gaming. Yes. Clearly, clearly I was made to be a streamer because I cannot talk and game at the same time which that's not a requirement, right? You don't need to. Be, you don't need to be able to do that. Oh my god. Nope. Definitely not. Ah, <laughs> uh, that went so well until it didn't. How much did I get on the first life? I don't remem remember. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot. There's not a lot happening here. Anyway, about the book. Oh, thank you for the follow, Sharp Ice Fire. Cool name. God, no! <laughs> Why? Why this? Anyway, about the book that I read. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I already, I think I already made the point I was trying to make, but it's like a... It's like a romance story thing. But it's set in like... Um... When does it start? I don't remember, like the 80s? But it's like, it's like about these kids at the beginning. You know, you, you just follow them like... No, it's supposed to have audio. I was wondering about that, actually. Because I definitely didn't hear it. 
the last two times when with has as well. That's why I, why I asked if the thing showed up. Maybe you just can't hear it over the 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 thing. Oh my god! You know what? Um, we're not doing that. I pressed circle. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed it's supposed to have audio. <laughs> I don't know why it's not doing it. Um, I'll look into it after. Actually, wait, I could do like a... Can I do like a test thingy from here somehow? I feel like that was a thing, right? Oh, whatever, whatever. We'll do it later. It's not, it's not immediate. Like, it's not a, a pressing issue. Thinking about it, I think I renamed the file that had the sound on it, the local file, but that shouldn't matter because I uploaded it on stream elements. I don't think... I don't think it should matter, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, for the billionth time, so tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow is this romance <laughs> about... Um, it's like a generation spanning thing, not generation, but like... Um, decades spanning story where you see like the characters grow up and stuff and it's like they're like video game developers and they get like you know influenced by i don't know like donkey kong and stuff like you see a bunch of like classic games that you probably know from your own childhood and then they also you know they develop games in the book and you get to see these really cool concepts that honestly i just really wish they were real games oh look it did the thing again too Something is something is hecked up with stream elements, but anyway, yeah. If you like if you like video games, I think it's like a very good book, <laughs> just in general. And even if you don't like romance, it's not like it's not like a, a straight up romance. Um, oh, I remember they had they had a thing about maintenance. I don't think that was today, but something about their chatbot being down because of maintenance stuff. Maybe it's somehow related to that. I'm just gonna say it does. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not like a classical romance in a way, it's more, it's kind of more like a friendship story, but also there's romance, but also it's, you know, it's like, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's more focused on kind of like, I don't know, interpersonal drama, but in a, in an interesting way. <laughs> I'm not really selling this very well, but I promise it's like, it's just like really good. It's definitely my favorite book I've read this year, for sure. Um... And while that might not seem like a grand statement considering it's February, I have read 17 books this year, so it's not- it's, it doesn't mean nothing, you know? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I have some books to compare to. The worst book I read this year was Moby Dick. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure that's true. Inheritance Games was pretty bad, but it's not- it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm kind of- I was aiming for 100 this year, but then considering the pace, I think I'm gonna aim for like 120, so like 10 books a month. Because I've been doing pretty well, and I'm like so far ahead of my goal that I would need to, you know, where I need, would need to be for 100, that it doesn't feel like a challenge anymore, like it feels like I'm not challenging myself. So that's why I'm- I think I'm gonna try to do 120. Maybe more. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll do more if more um, happens, but I'll, I'll leave the goal at 120, I think. But yeah, I'm also doing, like, audiobooks as well. Some people would consider that cheating, so I guess I'll mention it. Um, it's not purely reading, it's also some audiobook stuff. Because, you know, I, I walk to work and I walk home and I listen to audiobooks when I'm, like, cooking. Actually, I haven't gone a single day this year without listening to an audiobook, which I think is pretty cool. Frick! The timing! <laughs> yeah, audiobooks are nice, especially if you have like a, a commute to work at all. It doesn't even need to be a long commute. Like, I walk 15 minutes one way, but still, that's like, that's like 30 minutes of an audiobook every day, just walking. And then if you, you know, if you cook and stuff, that works too. I usually, I usually listen, like I start listening pretty much the second I get up. So I'm like listening already while I'm I'm making like breakfast and while I'm eating breakfast and when I'm brushing my teeth and you know doing all the morning stuff and then and then I start walking so I get like I get like close to an hour 
or sometimes like over an hour of audiobook listening in just in the mornings. Which, you know, for regular length audiobooks, that's like, that's pretty good. The only problem is that I only listen to like Stephen King, so a lot of them are like pretty long, but still. You know, it's progress. And then I get to listen again in the evenings while I'm walking home, and then I usually start cooking right after I'm walking home. So that's like another like hour or 90 minutes. It's pretty good. Can get a lot of book time that way. And you know, it's definitely it's definitely more accessible than like sitting down and reading a book. Which you just don't always have time for that. Like I love reading. And I, I like reading physical as well, not like just ebooks. But I read a lot of ebooks at work because it's just easier. Like I can do it while eating during my lunch break without having to worry about getting to book 30. And then audiobooks, you know, you don't you don't have to like sit down and actively focus on them. You can do it while walking, which I guess you can read while walking, but it's a bit of a <laughs> it's a bit of a risk <laughs> to your safety and the one the safety of others, so Maybe don't do that. Although I used to play Nintendo DS while I was walking to school. Um, can't recommend. <laughs> Cannot recommend. Ah, oh, no, I looked at chat. What does that say? Oh, I wanna have so many other things. Yeah. I mean, I get that. That's kind of, that's kind of been an issue for me as well this year, because I... You know, I have to do like the anime watching challenge and stuff like that, and I get like no progress or progress done on that because I just read. But I kind of feel like while I'm, f you know, while I still have the motivation to read a lot, I'd rather read than watch anime. <laughs> uh, it kind of sucks that I'm not I'm not getting any like anime completion at the moment. Oops. But I think I'd rather that than not getting any books done, I guess. I don't want Doritos into my book. Although, or in my book. I got somewhat close because I was eating Cheetos yesterday. Um, but I was doing I was doing GPX Plus and listening to an audiobook, so <laughs> no Cheetos. Only in my laptop, not in the book. I don't care about my laptop. My laptop can get full of Cheeto dust. Who cares? <gasps> Soccer! Summoned by the Cheetos! Let's go! Oh, well. <laughs> Where's my second ball? There we go. Oh, that was lame. Let's go! Ah, oh, that one's not gonna make it though. Boo. Stop. Oh god. Four episodes a day? I haven't even planned my AWC at all, honestly, like... No! Wait, I think I might have just figured out what the B and B and M is, but I'm not sure. I think it might be for the, the bonus you get whenever you die, like the stuff in the in the bottom right. Like maybe B is like the 5,000 and M is like the multiplier. Like it's bonus and multiplier or something? I'll have to see. Or somebody somebody <laughs> that has the ability to multitask better than I do. Um, when I get a plus B, can you see if the number goes up? <laughs> What is that? Uh, you can do both the reading and the watching? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm not reading any manga right now as well. It's just lame. I was gonna I was gonna read Spy Family this month for um, the high score we're doing. Which is just like, um, you know, a group of friends picking the highest scored stuff from each other's lists and watching slash reading that. But um, I ended up kind of like going the cheese way and watching a like a 20 minute special instead oh yeah no my my laptop's probably grimy my old laptop <laughs> part of what ruined it was i spilled like nail oil on it <laughs> so that tells you what a good laptop owner i am i take better care of my like actual pc keyboard which makes a lot of sense you know because that's the one i can take apart and clean like of course that's the one i <laughs> i'm careful not to drop things into but um <laughs> i actually did that recently or actually it's been 
I feel like it's been like a year or two since I cleaned this keyboard, but it doesn't really need cleaning because, again, I'm not eating next to it. Not, not to this one, next to this one. Um, but, um... That was really fun. I cleaned my keyboard by, like, taking out all the keys. Duh. And putting them into, like, a glass of water and then putting, like, dish soap in it and swirling it around and it made, like, the funkiest noise. Kirby. I have a video of that. <laughs> of me just, like... Like, um... What's the word? Stirring. Stirring, like, the keyboard. Glass. I don't know why, I just thought it, the sound was really, really funny. Oh. Oh! Oh, that could have been a save. Oh! Plus M! Oh, but I can't see the multiplier right now, so I can't even tell. Times three? I think it said times four before. So yeah, uh, times two, rather. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think it really, that's really what it is. Like, plus B probably gives me like 1,000 more of the, the points. And then M gives me one more of the multiplier, I think. That would actually make some amount of sense. Damn, I should be farming that then. God knows how high that goes. Not that I know how to farm anything in this game. <laughs> no, he's gonna take my chicken. Oh, I messed up. He's gonna take my chicken again. No, never mind. Chicken saved. Yeah, I haven't really had any other reading highlights this year, I think. Um, like, I've started reading the Dark Tower series. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I'm on the sixth one right now, or, well, I finished number six already, actually. But I can't do the seventh one until March. For reading challenge-related reasons. <laughs> because, yes, of course, I'm also doing book reading challenges. It's, uh, it's a Stephen King. Thing. It's a series. There's like seven books in it. Uh, the first one's called The Gunslinger, if that helps jog your memory. It's pretty good. It's like a fancy western thing. <laughs> it's pretty good. And you know, it's Stephen King, so of course I'm reading it. <laughs> it took me a while to get to, but it's finally time. Oh, the star's leaving, yeah. Yeah. Alright. That's okay. Yeah. Other than that, I've only done two Stephen King books this year, I think. One of them was Blaze, which is technically not a Stephen King book, because it's a Bachman book. It's his last one. That was already... Like, that was written after he was already outed as Bachman, like, long after. And after he'd already retired Bachman as well. Um, he, like, came back one last time. To write Blaze. Which was fine. I don't know. It was fine. <laughs> it's not the... It's not the worst Bachman book, for sure. It's not the best one, either. It's fine. Oop. I think the best one was probably... Um, I always want to say Running Man, but that's not at all the one I mean. It's uh, The Long Walk. For some reason, I just keep getting those names confused, because I guess walking and running are similar in a way, but walking... No. Yeah, the, the Running Man, there we go. The Running Man is like one of the worst ones, and The Long Walk is like really good. It's like this post-epicalyptic um, story where they just, they walk. It's like a... Oh no! <laughs> it's like a competition. Of sorts, where a bunch of kids in like at like military joining age, I think it is, um, like teenagers, are like they they walk and do they just walk and they walk until they die, basically. 
Like, either they drop dead or they, like, stop. Like, if you rest, you get shot. Stuff like that. Um, it's really... It's really bleak, but it's really good. Uh, it's just a great book. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a journey. It's, uh... It's pretty rough. <laughs> and it doesn't have a very happy end from what I remember. <laughs> but it's pretty good, you know? Fuck, I wanted to go into the middle one. <laughs> uh, The Long Walk. By Richard Bachman. Um, at least I think that's what it's called. It's one of my favorite King books in general, I think. It's up there with like misery. But yeah, again, not to be confused with uh, The Running Man, which is a story about a... Uh, it's like a TV show, kind of a, it's, it kind of reminds me of that one episode of Black Mirror. Um, <laughs> but it's like, a, it's like a TV show thing where the guy is supposed to just like run away while people like from the government or whatever try to chase him down and kill him. And the, the like... Uh, the public is like against him and like rats him out. Fuck! It was going so well. It was going so well. Um. Yeah, there's. It was a one episode. But yeah, the guy's like. Um. The guy's like the super badass. Like it's ridiculous. Like he gets shot in the leg at one point, and he just he doesn't even care. Like, yeah, it's mentioned that. I guess there's a gun wound or like a you know bullet hole in his in his leg, whatever. But he just keeps running. Like it doesn't even matter to him at all. Um, and the, the final scene in that book is so incredibly dumb. But <laughs> yeah, they made like a a movie adaptation. It was like it was something ridiculous. Like I think it had like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. It was like it's like crazy. Um, but apparently that one's like decent. Because it's just not the book, essentially. It's just like something else. Uh, it's like its own story. But I hear people like that. I haven't seen that, personally. But yeah, the other, the other King book that I actually read this year, other than The Dark Tower and The Blaze, was Duma Key, Which was... Good. It was very long-winded. Long-winded? It was long. <laughs> it was a long book. And it felt like the payoff wasn't so good. Yeah. It's like an action movie, I think. Which, I mean, I think it, it would work as a completely dumb action movie, so... I could, I could see how people would like that. I think I would, too. I need to see it still. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually never seen Terminator, speaking of Arnold. Even though the guy is, you know, from Austria and I'm supposed to be, like, supporting him. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw, like, a little bit of it when, I w when it was on TV. But, um... Yeah. Never actually properly watched it at all. For a second, by the way, it got quiet because for a second I thought it was at like 500k and then I realized it was 50. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's not mess this up. There we go. Alright, it's championship time! What does that what does that guy say in, in Pokemon? It's champ time or something? The freaking Leon or whatever his name is, the annoying one. Sword and Shield. I hate that guy. Dande. No, Squid. No, Blocky. No. He's in the anime, too. <laughs> it would have been better if he wasn't. I hate Dande. Also known as Leon. 
or whatever. I think it's Leon. <laughs> it's a big brother of your rival character. And I guess he's also the champ or whatever. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is the best timeline now. Let's do it. Generation 2? No, it's Gen... what is that? 8? Oh my god, what is... what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> ah! Oh, I don't think so... I don't remember Gen 2. Gen 1 was Lance. Maybe I think of that, because it's an L name. But yeah, I haven't played Gen 2 that much. So I, I don't know. Alright. I replay I replay Fire Red like periodically, so I'm pretty Oh right, that's what it was. Dupe. So so much for replaying Fire Red all the time. I thought wait, don't no, don't you fight don't you fight Lance and then he's like, oh by the way, I wasn't the champ. You definitely don't you do like two? Fights where he's like, he's like the, the fourth member of the Elite Four, and you would think he's the champ, but then he's like, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not entirely crazy. Lance is in that game. Your rival is the champ. Green. Also known as blue by colorblind idiots and the translators of. the official translators of Pokemon. Um. I'm still a little bit upset about that, <laughs> in case you could tell. If you want to know what happened there, um, you know how they released Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red? It was actually, the original Japanese release was like Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green. And then they made Pokemon Blue, which was like a, like a better version with like bug fixes, essentially. It's just like a good version of Gen 1. And then... And then... They uh... They ported it, you know, they, they like brought it to North America and whatever. And they didn't port... Um, the original Pokemon Blue, they ported the... Or rather, they didn't port the original Pokemon Green, they ported the original... The, the remake? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, which is Blue. <laughs> Once again, I cannot keep a straight thought. Oh my god. Oh my god! Please, not again after the, the good first life. Don't do this to me. Please, please. But, um... Anyway, they ported the game, but they ported the remake, and then just did a second version of it. And called that one, like, Pokemon Red. And that's how we got Red and Blue. But then, because they did red and blue, instead of calling it red and green, like it was originally, because they didn't want, like, confusion with the... the shitty Japanese version, I guess. The originals. I don't remember what the reason was. But anyway, they, they, they renamed the, the games to red and blue instead of red and green. And so, they also renamed the character, green, to blue. Which is incredibly upsetting, because he literally, like, has green eyes, wears a green sweater, and is just green in general. And suddenly he's called Blue. Like, what the fuck, Nintendo? That's not hashtag Nintended. I refuse to believe. Oh. Oh. So yeah, I'm pretty- I'm just- I'm just not happy with that character being called Blue. His name's green. Blue is the girl. The one that wears a blue shirt and has blue eyes. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. My hands are sweaty. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm about to spit out my freaking spaghetti as well. All over my sweater. Ah. All right. No, I don't even want to go frosty. I should just take the cannon. 
Whatever, it's fine. Maybe we can play some soccer. Oop, nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not playing well because I'm trying to tell the red blue green story and I didn't tell the red blue green story either well either because I'm trying to play the game you know what they say about multitasking about how people aren't actually good at multitasking it's more like doing two things poorly that's exactly what I'm feeling today <laughs> why did the why did the gold tomato go away What did I do to upset the tomato? That's what I want to know. <sighs> Just give me the egg. Thank you. Yeah, I think multitasking is a good myth anyway. Well. Chicken! What was that noise? No, don't go into the abyss. Am I ever gonna be able to challenge that boss again, do you think? Because I feel like even if I do get the chickens, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm just gonna not get the star before it despawns, but I guess that works too. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Give me to meet her. Thank you. All right. No. <laughs> the rebound. All right. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's play some soccer! What? How did he block that? What was that? He just like grabbed it and took it out of the goal again. That doesn't seem fair. Nope! Squid! Squid, you're not actually supposed to block all of them, you know that, right? You're supposed to be a friend. There we go. There we go. 16! Give me 32! Yes! Hi, Freddy! <sighs> Alright. Okay, we're gonna get 1,600 points when I die, which isn't a lot. No, wait, not 1,600, 16,000. There we go. I can do math. I know what 4 times 4,000 is. Yeah, still not, still not super much. Oh no! I was about to say the trick is just not dying, but <laughs> yeah, right. That is what it is. Okay, I wasn't making that up. Ooh, at least we went straight for the second level this time, or the second. You know what I mean? Second floor. <laughs> All right, egg time. Man, remember the Eggman? But not the one from Sonic, the one from Spyro. <laughs> Good times. Especially in that first one. That was fun. Definitely not frustrating. <laughs> Definitely not the hardest thing in the game in like the first stage for no freaking reason. Are you guys squids or are you kids? Like just objectively speaking. Oh yeah. Dude, you've missed a lot. We've had incredibly important conversations about Moby Dick and, <laughs> and, 
And the mount. <laughs> the mount of Kanta Crystal. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, if this run dies, it's all it's the mount of Kanta Crystal again. <laughs> no! It's not that funny! Stop it, brain! It's not funny! <laughs> Focus. Deep breaths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Everything is fine. We don't need to go into hysterics about the Mount of Conte Cristo. I, I can just keep saying it and it will stop being funny eventually. <laughs> I think next time I play Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna name my next horse count of <laughs> Count of Crystal. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get a horse just to name it Count of Crystal. Fuck! Ha! <laughs> Frick! It's okay, we got 15,000 points out of that fight. That was not bad. It wasn't good, but it was not bad. Remember that time we almost beat the enemy? The boss? I wonder what would have happened. <laughs> Genuinely curious. Yeah, like, actually making it to the boss fight and getting more than zero points is... honestly, an accomplishment. I think. Did you see that pro shake as I was trying to get him out of the hole? I don't think I achieved anything doing that, but it made me feel good! Why did I eat myself that way? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, sweet. Straight back up. Weird bounces. Yeah, Nintended. <laughs> I don't even know why I keep saying that, but I guess it's a catchphrase now. <laughs> Screw it. It's gonna be weird when I start using it to not refer to Nintendo games. Oh you! Oh you silly Kirby you! You silly goose you! What a silly thing to do Kirby! What a silly thing! Just falling all the way down. That's so- that's so funny Kirby. That's so hilarious. Oh that was even funnier! Good job Kirby! Wow! Cat phrase. Speaking of cat phrases, I don't think anybody really heard, because once again the, the, the bot was kind of delayed in announcing the stream. But I but I came up with a with a with a greeting. It's like very inspired. Super super catchy. Cause I said I said hello every bunny. Get it? It's like hello everybody. But but bunny. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why can I just never do good after I do good? <laughs> Why is it only ever one life per three lives? Why do I have a one-third success rate in this game? Please, somebody tell me why I can't do well in more than 33% of a playthrough. <sighs> Alright. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Whew. All right, anyway. Uh, let me think if I read anything else this year that's worth talking about. Zeppla, who's that? Is that somebody I should know? Probably. My guy about to get, get curb stomped if he keeps us up. Oh, okay. Man, Final Fantasy. I wish I ever got into that. Admittedly, the only one I've really played was Final Fantasy X-2. 
very specific, as well as that weird Final Fantasy Tactics thing or whatever it was called, the one on Nintendo DS that's like a top-down RTS type thing. Not RTS really, but you know, it's, it was weird. It was kind of like Fire Emblem a little bit. The bunny was in it. I don't remember her name. Six? Okay. I don't really- you don't really hear people talking about six, I feel like. People are usually like really into seven, right? Is six the one that was like a multiplayer game or something? Was that nine? I feel like it was one of those early ones that was also like an online game. Like I said, I only played that weird spin-off and the <laughs> 10 2. Not even 10. Although I played that a little bit later. Well, um, you know, I, I, I tried it out. I guess I didn't ever really get into it. Ah, okay. The bunny name. You know the one with the... She had like dark skin and like white hair. Uh like black a black outfit that's pretty skimpy honestly the only final fantasy characters i know at this point are the people that were in kingdom hearts and even them i don't really remember oh no Oh, okay. No, you! You, curbster, you. You funny old round guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Is Kirby like a viable main? Oh, Fran? Fran? Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. I think that's it. I think that's the one. <laughs> Like the the nanny, isn't that isn't her name also Fran? From that like sitcom. <laughs> I watched that like all the time as a kid, but I never understood it because I only ever caught like random episodes, and I didn't even like it. I don't know why I watched it. It was like clearly not intended for my age group. watch shows that like weren't intended for you and it didn't even make sense because it's not like you enjoyed them i feel like that was that was also me with like south park where i just watched it because i wasn't allowed to and honestly i didn't even like it <laughs> i didn't think it was funny at all yeah i feel like maybe i'd like it now even but it was definitely i was just too young for it you know i didn't understand it really and i just I just watched it because I wasn't supposed to. Same with The Simpsons. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons either, so <laughs> still did it. You know, it's like when you when you're like having your own TV in your room. Like, what are your parents gonna do? I shouldn't have given you the TV, I guess. That was probably the, the first mistake. It's giving me my own television. It's like when my mom was like... Uh, as a way of like grounding me or like, you know, punishment. She was like, you're not allowed on the PC for a week. But then it's like, she works until like 3 p.m. every day. And I get home at 1. And it's like, okay, well... I'm just gonna be on the PC for two hours, like, nobody's gonna know. Huh! Did I ever tell you guys about the one time I actually got grounded? It's kind of funny. It's really- it's a really stupid reason to get grounded. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I guess if you have siblings. Being an only child is, is good in that way. But like, the one the one time I actually got grounded, like, you're not allowed to leave the house grounded. Um, it was in summer. Like, just in the, like, during the summer holidays. Um, and I was home, you know, with, uh... Crap. Crap. Crap! Um, I was just home, and I had a friend, like, from the neighborhood, and we were just playing, um, just, like, in the garden, whatever. And we had this bush in our garden. It was called, like, a snowball bush. That was, like, a, like, a nickname, sort of. Like a casual name people call that kind of plant. It has an official name that I don't know, but essentially it looks like um, it's a big bush and it has like these white flowers on it that grow in like these little ball shapes. So it looks like snowballs growing on a bush, you know. That's why it's called that. And um, my friend and I, we just, we got into a snowball fight. <laughs> I mean, I don't, there's no other way to explain it, you know? We just started ripping off this, like, the, 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 the flowers from this bush. And we just destroyed it completely, you know? It was pretty bad, like, it was mean. You don't do that. You don't, don't rip up bushes. Um, but yeah, we, we ripped off all the flowers from this bush. And, uh, my mom came home. And I was in the middle of ripping off flowers <laughs> and <laughs> having a snowball fight in the middle of summer and she wasn't very happy about it so I got grounded <laughs> and that's it that's the story of the only time I got grounded it's not very exciting I didn't even do any like crimes or do anything like really bad I just tore up a bush oh my god this is a bad soccer this is a very bad soccer I'm getting weird ball placements <laughs> I was not 17 when I did it, no. I was like, I don't know. My parents weren't divorced yet, so I guess I couldn't have been older than six. <laughs> yeah, I deserved it. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still not sure if my parents were like really strict or my mom or like really not strict. Like I genuinely cannot tell. I definitely got smacked a lot, you know. I got my my ass handed to me. <laughs> but um <laughs> Fuck 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 <laughs> Speaking of getting my ass handed to me. Shit! Ah I remember I remember when I was trying to be a PG VTuber and not curse on the stream. That lasted very long. <sighs> Admittedly, I'm pretty sure I cursed during the first stream, but I'm like, I was like trying to keep it down, you know? It's like, it, it comes out of me, whether I want it to or not. But this game, it's really bringing it out. It's really bringing it out. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, I definitely got, like, smacked as a kid. Like, in the face and on the butt, as they do. <laughs> I guess it was just normal back then. You know, it was the late 90s, maybe it wasn't normal anymore, but whatever. <laughs> it happened, it's over. I'm not gonna smack my kids, but I'm also not gonna have any kids, so... You know. Not like it's gonna matter. No generational trauma here. Because there's no generation coming after. <laughs> you see? Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Honestly, I think if anything damaged me, it definitely wasn't the, the physical <laughs> damage <laughs> that I acquired as a child. It was definitely more of an emotional thing. <clears throat> you know, like my mom 
uh, suddenly ignoring me completely and refusing to talk to me and refusing to cook food for me after a fight <laughs> for a week. Um, and me learning how to make spaghetti by consulting people in the chat room because that's the only only people I could go to. That was... <laughs> that probably left more damage. <laughs> Admittedly, it might be related uh, to why I... I didn't learn how to cook until I was like 20 years old. <laughs> I might I might have I might have carried some trauma. But <laughs> um but yeah. Fun times. Fun times. Or like, you know, being being gaslighted about how how she didn't say those things, etc. When it's like I literally I remember it happening. I I was there, you know. I was the things were being said said to me. I remember them. Um, <laughs> weird, weird that you'd pretend that's not how it happened when, when that's how it happened, you know. <laughs> and then it's always like, well, you're just an ungrateful child, and screw you anyway. But yeah. Anyway, enough trauma dumping. Let's get back to Kirby. Sorry, <laughs> I got into a weird, uh, weird mood there. <laughs> ah, jeez. It's all the fucking Moby Dick. Honestly, like, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just upset about white whales still. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I just... What I just want, you know, I just want somebody, like a buddy in my life, that I feel comfortable enough with to hold hands inside a bucket of sperm. <laughs> like, that's, that's what I need in life, you know? Oh, for God's sake! Curbster! What was that? <sighs> Heavy. <laughs> I think I think pinball actually brings out the worst in me. <laughs> I think that's what we're learning today. Is just don't let me play pinball. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not a good idea at all. How much is how much is five hundred thousand divided by three? 150? That would be 300, 450,000. No, it's gonna be more than that. 180-ish? 160? More than 160. 170. One, yeah, 170 kind of. A little bit less than that. 165 or something. I don't know. Okay, so the goal is at least 170,000 points before I die. Minimum. I think I'm about to die, though. Oh, just kidding! Just kidding! Just kidding! Yeah, 165. Just like I said. I feel like there's a six missing there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna summon Satan today by getting exactly 100. What is it? No. One one hundred sixty-six thousand six hundred and sixty-six points <laughs> per life. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the plan. Just making it clear, you know. Crap. God, I already had a repeating number today when I was thinking about how my This is like the first day of my, my vacation, and I've got nine days if you include the weekends. So it's already like it's already like 11.1 repeating percent over. Isn't that sad? Yeah, vacation time. Uh, there might be there might be an exciting announcement relating to the stream schedule and the fact that I'm on vacation. I'm not allowed to die yet, because I'm not at 166,666 yet! <laughs> you understand, Kirby? We have not summoned Satan, so you can't die, Kirby! Kirby! Okay. Kirby. I'm not angry, Kirby. I'm just disappointed! 
I wonder if my neighbors can- Wait, my neighbors on vacation too, they can't hear me scream, I'm- I'm good. Alright. Please. Oh my god. I hate Scarfy. I'm sorry, I take it all back. I don't want to be on this level later. I don't want to be on any of the levels. How much is 166,000 times 2? 323? Ish. So we gotta get to that now before we die again. My hands are so sweaty. <laughs> Alright. Face the cloud is making on the left, the, the kind of just like incredibly bored face. That's what I look like right now. It's like my my face has fallen asleep from how from how fun this game is. Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's going well. <sighs> Let's just talk about other things again. Like um, sheesh. What else is there? What else is there in life other than Kirby? I mean, sort of, but it's the achievement of the week, so if I don't get it this week, you know, it's over. And I do want it. I don't want to be a quitter. I'm not a quitter. Are you trying to say I can't do this? Hmm? Hmm? I'm not a quitter. Yeah, honestly... I didn't- I didn't see the... I joined the Discord server just because I wanted to be able to to vote on Achievement of the Week, you know? But I couldn't see where it is. Maybe I'm not, like, high level enough yet to do it. I don't know. Oh, Kirby, you came back too soon. You could have landed right on that umbrella. And then the bird! Okay. Cock blocked by the bird briefly, but it's okay. I'm verified, yeah. I looked at the chat and then fell down. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, basically, right, we're done. I told you about the one good book I read this year. <laughs> Not the one good book. I also read The Nickel Boys. Um, no, I want to. I want the achievement. That's the that's the thing. I don't actually want to give up. It's not it's not like this is that unfun. I kind of enjoy it. It's just my hands are really sweaty. <laughs> I need to I need to like wipe them off. Um, I read The Nickel Boys by uh. Colson Whitehead. It's uh, there's a space, but yeah, that's how it's spelled. Um, it's, oh my God, Kirby, don't go that fast! I can't keep up. Um, it's about like what do you call them? Like a reformatory school, you know, like for for bad kids. Except the the main character kind of gets in there by mistake, essentially. Like he's just a black kid being discriminated against. It's like it's set in the sixties, um, and he like he happens to be hitchhiking with a guy who actually stole the car that he's in, and that's like this really unfortunate coincidence. And he ends up in this super bad reformation school because of it, and it's like it's about like it's really rough. It's like you know a bunch of physical abuse and uh, it's really bad it's really bad um it's pretty like emotional and stuff that's not that's not 323,000 points dude yeah it was kind of mm, i wanted to like it i mean i don't know if like is the right word you know but i was like mm, you know what i mean right like sometimes you just want to read about those kinds of things and like feel sad <laughs> I guess. But the problem I had was I kind of couldn't get into the rating for some reason. Like it was, I feel like my English is not awful, you know? Like I'm not, I'm not a native, but I feel like my English is not that bad. But I had like real trouble just understanding the most basic sentences sometimes and I don't know what it is. Like something about the way it was written, it was just so hard for me to, to like understand that I had to like reread whole paragraphs and I was still like, I don't understand what the sentence says. I don't know why. Like, 
I don't. This is. I don't usually have that issue. Fuck. Um. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know what happened there. Honestly, like that was. That was actually the one thing that that kind of resulted in me kind of rating it. Rating it like somewhat poorly. I uh. I picked up another book of his, uh, Colson Whitehead, um, from my my store because we had one. Um. Uh. I I work in a bookstore. And we have this shelf in the back that's like um, free reading samples that um, the publishers send us where it's like, you know, not samples as in like little samples, but in like whole ass books that are free. Um, and I saw we had a book from him or by him like back there. So I, I took it with me and this one's like translated into German. <laughs> so I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping um, that will help, you know, like, because I do want to, Jesus Christ. I do think it was like a very interesting, very interesting book, you know, like plot-wise and stuff, um, or like the, like the structure of it, um, and the way you get to know the characters and and all that it was like really good. But I just I had so much trouble with the language of it, and I don't know why. So I'm just hoping the translated version of it's a different book, but it's it's another book of his called um, what was it Harlem something? I was about to say Harlem Shake, but I don't think that's it. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that one's easier because it's you know in my mother tongue. <laughs> okay, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that child channel. I think, but I'll look at it again later. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I also read a book recently where I feel like the translation actually made it a lot worse. <laughs> um, it was The Inheritance Games, which is like this trilogy. Uh, it's like a teen... Mm, like a YA mystery romance bullshit series. Honestly, it, the, the, <laughs> the first problem is that it's like a stupid kind of like love triangle story, which I'm already like, ugh. And then they're like, the love interests are like these rich boys, these rich fuck boys. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. And the story is like this incredibly like self insert feeling uh, story of how like this random nobody just happens to inherit like a whole like millions of dollars from this stranger that she's never met before in her life and also he has three incredibly hot grandsons that she's now living with um actually there's four of them but uh, <laughs> it, it was already like uh and then i i really want to believe it's the translation and not the writing but i mean i don't know because i didn't read it in english to compare. I, I'm not gonna read it again. Um, but it was just so bland. It was so incredibly boring. And then half of the sentence, like, either it was just like boring as fuck sentences where it's like, uh, what is this? Or it was these incredibly cringy lines where it's like just describing how hot the guys she's living with are. And it's just like, please shut the fuck up. You know, like, she's standing in a room with one of them, and it's like, God, it was so hard to not just, like, rush over and throw myself into his hot arms and press myself against his hard chest. It's like, shut the fuck up, please. It was so bad. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, that, was not, that was not very good. Uh, <laughs> um, kind of reminds me of the other book I read recently that was... Sucky, which was the invisible library, which I really wanted to be good. Oh, why can't I do it at all anymore? Oh my god! <sighs> okay, um, <clears throat> which I wanted to be good, but it just wasn't. Where my favorite line, honestly, is like I don't remember it exactly, but it was like, um, his cheekbones were sharp enough to cut cheese, let alone diamonds. No, the other way around, um, <laughs> but you know, like something like that, like. Or was it like, not only could you cut cheese with his 
with his cheekbones. You might even be able to sharpen a diamond or some some crap like that. Honestly, like, <laughs> who writes that, you know? Like, how do you write that and then look at it and go like, hmm, yeah, good, good prose. <laughs> and it wasn't, and I'll, I will just put this out there, it was not like erotica, you know? It was not supposed to be some kind of stupid trash romance. It was supposed to be like a fantasy spy thing. I was misled, my trust was betrayed. I was like, I was lured in with the promise of like mysterious fantasy library and I got fucking cheese cutting cheekbones. Like what the fuck? Ah, that was not a good book. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I was actually talking about the inheritance games, wasn't I? Whatever. But yeah, it's also like... It's like a, a mystery a novel, I guess, in a way. Because she's like... She inherited this money, you know? But they have to solve a riddle. And whatnot to... I don't know. I don't even know why they have to solve the riddle. They just have to solve riddles, okay? Because their grandpa was like a riddle-loving fuck. And now he's dead and he left them even more riddles. Ooh, it's great. But the riddles are like so dumb. You just, you look at them once and you're like, oh, I see where this is going. And then it takes the characters like five pages to figure it out. And you're like, Jesus Christ. Like you can't write like a mystery. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What was that? What was that? What was that? But you can't write a mystery novel if you're not good at coming up with mysteries. Like if you can't, if you can't do riddles, don't do riddles. I don't, I don't know how to tell you. Like... It's just, don't do that then. Or get a freaking like a ghostwriter or some kind of friend to help you that's good at riddles. I don't know. Or at least get somebody to read over it and if they can figure it out in 20 seconds, maybe it's not a good riddle. You know, maybe you need a new riddle. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <sighs> Clearly I'm too heated. I need to calm down. We need to talk about good books again. Or about <laughs> something else. We don't need to talk about books all the time. There's other topics. Um, like animals. What kind of animals do you guys like? How do you feel about walruses? Specifically, how do you feel about Frosty, the presumed walrus? Oh, you got a you got a cat. You got a pet cat. Pet cat. Jesus Christ. Oh no, Mudge! Your your message is getting held back. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I'll, I'll release you. There you go. <laughs> Sperm whales and horses. How do you feel about horse sperm, then? <laughs> I didn't ask that. Don't answer. Stop! Stop! He's doing it again! Okay. The shaking helped, I think. You can change the palette! <gasps> yeah, definitely horses. <laughs> I, uh, I banned horse talk from my channel. I don't want to invite any horse girls. How do I change- how do I change the palette? I want to change the palette. T t teach me, teach me. Teach me. Video. <gasps> Blue sea. It looks the same. Do I need to restart it? No. How do I... Maybe I need a different color. Video. Um, Dark Knight. It looks the same. Ness! <laughs> How do I change the color? <laughs> Today, huh? You think if you- if you milked... A horse? <laughs> No, you know what? I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> forget about it, forget about it, forget I said anything. Um, it's, it's, it's VBA, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's VBA. No, if you... Forget about it, forget, forget about it. Other question, can you make... Um, it's just, it's just an auto mod, you know, he gets rid of... He gets rid of, um... Messages that might be offensive, and the word sperm is a bit questionable. So, 
It's not, it's not like a bad feature, you know, I don't want people just like randomly joining the stream and spamming swear words and then, you know, we don't want that. So it's- oh god. Seaman. Um... So yeah, the sperm- sperm whale. Maybe you can write it as one word, sperm whale, and then it becomes allowed. But, uh, what the frick was I saying? You guys distracted me. Right, we actually, we had this conversation slightly, sort of. I, I, I briefly started it, but then I got distracted in, in Banjo-Kazooie. Can you milk every mammal? Like, can you make milk from every mammal that exists? Oh, no, I mean, sperm whale is not... I I just allowed the word sperm when Maj posted it, so it's, it's fine now. But yeah, I'm just wondering, like, can you have, like, I don't know, cat milk, dog milk, are those things? Would that theoretically be possible? And if it is, why hasn't anyone done it? <laughs> you know? I feel like if it's possible, it, sh it, it would have been done by now. But then again, I don't see a reason why it's not possible, so I'm like, hmm. Confused. Do you think people sell, like, human milk as well? Like, breast milk? Yeah, exactly. So, like, how has nobody made, like, a, a cat milk farm? That's what I wonder. I just feel like, you know, humans as a, as a species, if something can be done, we will do it. No matter how bad the idea is. It's like rule 34, but applied to, like, everything in life. Why can't we drink it? What's wrong with cat milk? <laughs> Look, I just... Cats... Kittens can be like weaned on, on like, replacement milk. You know? Like, it, it would be it would be mean, but you could definitely take the milk from a, a pregnant cat, couldn't you? Or not pregnant, but just having given birth cat. Or is it like just hard to milk it, maybe? Actually, maybe, maybe that's kind of it, you know? Maybe, because cows have, like, udders. They're, like, very milkable. I don't know how sheep go work, but I'm assuming they also, they're also easily accessible from the outside. And I guess cats maybe just aren't. Maybe it's just hard. Maybe you just can't milk a cat. <laughs> I feel like I really should stop talking about this. <laughs> but I just, I just, I wonder, you know? Has anybody ever produced, sold, drunk cat milk? I just want to know. I don't want to drink cat milk myself. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to find out how it is. I just want to know if it's been done. That's it. <laughs> okay. So what you're saying is absolutely yes, but you're not allowed to talk about it. I see. I mean, if you guys personally have any experience drinking milk that isn't of the cow, camel, or goat variety, I want to know. Actually, I don't know if camel milk is even a thing. We just... That was just also a thing that came up, up with Banjo. I'm not sure if my if my OBS uh, thingy is, like, real-time, but I think two people just left during the cat milk conversation. <laughs> Which, you know, valid. <laughs> <sighs> have you guys do you guys have like any recurring dreams from your childhood or like just still i guess but that aren't like nightmares like good good recurring dreams <laughs> oh i have one i have one good recurring dream and then i have a lot of recurring nightmares <laughs> but my one good recurring dream is i haven't had it for years, but I used to have it all the time as a child. It's just like... Um... Flying? But it's not- it's not like any flying, you know? It's- it's actually... My dream is actually set in banjo to <laughs> Straight up, I, I used to dream of banjo to all the freaking time as a child. And specifically, I'd always dream that I was flying around, uh... 
like Hailfire Peak. Like that was that was my recording dream as a kid. My good recording dream. The one recurring nightmare I had already as a child is the one where I I wake up in my room and it's dark and I'm super scared for some reason. And I I try to turn on the light. And either the light switch just doesn't work, or it's like I'm really small and I can't reach the light switch. And then I finally do reach the light switch eventually, but it just doesn't do anything. Like, it just doesn't work. That one was always super terrifying for me. I think that's why I slept with a nightlight for a while. <laughs> Yeah. Recurring nightmares are like the worst. Both as a kid and, and later. As a kept as a as an adult I have a lot of dreams about spiders. Although not as much anymore now that I've made friends with that spider in my basement. Um <laughs> I feel like I've gotten over <laughs> I've gotten over my fear of spiders a bit. Although my friend, Parker, the the spider in my basement, he died. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Like he was always he was always chilling around the same spot. Sometimes he'd he'd leave, but he'd come back. And whenever I whenever I saw him, it would be in the same spot. But then one day I found his corpse in that <laughs> in that spot, and he was just like stiff, you know. He was just lying there on his back, and I was like, oh. I let him lie there for for a bit, seeing if anybody else would eat him. But he stayed there, so I eventually like. Um, I picked him up in a towel and I threw him outside. <laughs> Which... Don't... If I ever, like, if I die, or when I die, don't pick me up in a towel and throw me outside, please. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, I think for a spider it was a good way to go. Yeah, I did. But yeah, it's actually... I was actually able to get over my fear of spiders because of Spider-Man, as stupid as that is. Um... Like, I started, Spider-Man just made me pretend spiders were friends. And then eventually I realized spiders really are friends. They're better than like bugs because they can't fly and they can't like suddenly like fly into your face and um, crawl into your ears. I guess they can still crawl into your ears, but they're just not as scary as like flying bugs. I like spiders. They get rid of the, the gross bugs as well. So that's that's a bonus as well. But yeah, they're predictable. They're easy to like pick up. Um, like I, I carry spiders outside all the time by like grabbing them by the thread uh, and like bringing them outside again. Cause you know I like spiders. I don't necessarily want them in my house unless it's in the basement. They're fine in the basement. But um, no, so unless they're Parker specifically. He was a good guy. He was really big. He was like the biggest spider I've ever seen in my house. But um. Since I was able to make friends with him, I think I'm pretty much over my fear of spiders. Yeah, cockroaches, I've never seen those in real life, um, and I would like to keep it that way. I'm just scared of, like, any bug that has the ability to fly. Like, also, like, praying mantises are terrifying. Like, terrifying. I hate them. But, um, yeah, we get those a lot, in, like, in the garden. And they got, you know, they got those spooky arms, and they, pretty sure they also can fly, at least a little bit, you know. And it's just, oh, I also hate like crickets, even though they're like mostly good, or like grasshoppers. God, God, Jesus! I just, <laughs> you know, all of that, all of that, all of that's bad. Don't like, don't like insects. Don't like flying insects. Like spiders. Oh no. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Oh my god. Why'd I do it again? There we go. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's the worst. I'm also like mortally terrified of um of wasps, but I think that's fair. But yeah, I go into like straight up like panic attacks uh, when there's wasps nearby. Um, it used to be the same about bees. I've gotten a bit better about them because at least they can't hurt you without dying. So I'm always assuming they're smart enough to not want to hurt me. 
Um, but wasps, dude. Wasps. I'm so terrified of them. Like, it's not even funny. It's like, it's like... They die? Yeah, bees, if you- if a bee stings you, um, they have like this hook on the back of them- of their thing. Of their stinger. So if they- if they sting you, um, they rip out their lower half and they die. Like, it's attached to them and they just die. Because human skin is like too tough for them to- to take it back out of again. No, it's not wasps. Wasps are fucking evil. Wasps have a straight stinger? Um... They can sting you like 500,000 times and they don't give a shit. They're still gonna be alive at the end of it and you're gonna be in pain and they're still gonna be aggressive assholes about it and wasps are- wasps are just the worst. Bees are friends. Bees just- if you step on a bee, you know, it will defend itself because it doesn't know any better and then it will die, which is sad. We don't want that. But um... Yeah. Also, if you have a if you have a bee a stinger like stuck in your arm and you want to get it out, don't pull on it uh, because that just releases more of the poison. And also, again, it has that hook on it, so you can't just pull it out. The way you do it is you scratch, so you so you, like go sideways to get it out. I learned that from a beekeeper. <laughs> so yeah, if you gotta if you gotta get rid of a bee stinger stuck in your skin, that's the way to do it. The other thing, you know mosquitoes, they kind of, they were like, I remember a couple of years ago I read a, a thing about how they were trying to get rid of mosquitoes because they don't, they're not like necessary for the ecosystem at all and they, you know, they carry a lot of really bad diseases like malaria and stuff, malaria um, and so they were trying to like breed this, this kind of mosquito that was like super attractive to other mosquitoes but that would only that was like infertile and would only make like, you know, um, I think it was, a, I think they were breeding like a male mosquito and the females would lay like eggs that would never hatch, essentially. I think that's, that's what it was. Anyway, I read about this like years ago and I thought they were going to do it, but they're still mosquitoes, so I guess they didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But I'd like that, you know, I'd, I'd like to get rid of mosquitoes. I think that that would be good. And I guess, yeah, it's, it's like a concern how, you know, there's supposed to be like animals that feed off of mosquitoes, but the way, the way they explained it back then when I read that is like, basically mosquitoes are like so invasive that they also kind of just fuck up other um, insect species. So if all the mosquitoes died out, you just get more like, I don't know, flies or whatever. And all the frogs and spiders and everything else that depends on eating mosquitoes would actually be fine. They'd just eat other insects and it wouldn't matter at all. Or so I've read. <laughs> Again, it's been years and clearly there's still mosquitoes. So maybe it didn't work out. Maybe that wasn't the truth at all. <laughs> I wish it was though. I mean, flies are annoying, but they're, they're not as bad as mosquitoes. Oh, you think they're gross? Okay. I mean, I guess they... yeah. I have a bad habit of, like, not finding them gross and letting them, like, sit on my arms. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that's probably super disgusting, right? But it's like... that's like a thing. As a child, I always made friends with flies. <laughs> and I guess I never got over it. <laughs> I had a... I had, like, a pet fly. <laughs> Can you tell I was never allowed, like, real pets? <laughs> I had bunnies at one point, um, but I was kind of too young to properly take care of them. And I don't know if you guys have ever had bunnies, but they're not, like, the most interesting pet, usually. At least not if you're, like, keeping them outside in a stall or whatever. Or a... what is it called? A, a, a pen? No. Yeah, I guess a pen. Um... So I was not incredibly invested in the bunnies and it was pretty sad when they died though, like for sure. But I didn't really like interact with them a lot because I mean they just kind of 
they were pretty scared of humans as well, you know, like they didn't want to be touched. <laughs> so, yeah. And I come from a family where, you know, bunnies are food. <laughs> like, I guess they were rabbits, not bunnies, to be precise. And, you know, my, my grandpa, when, when they died, he was like, oh, did you eat them? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Which... I mean, yeah, I guess that was a valid question, but no, I did not eat my pet rabbits. Thanks for asking, though. Yeah, I mean, my, my bunnies, like, they were just in this, like, wooden cage thing. Like, the way farmers keep bunnies, you know, because that's... <laughs> that's the kind of life they came from. They actually, I got them from my grandpa. Like, he... Still keeps bunnies for food. Or, well, I don't think he he actually kills and eats them anymore, but that's the reason why he had them back then. And now, I don't know what he does with them, honestly. Maybe he still eats them, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, it's just like one of those things. Like, he also had chickens just for them to have eggs and then eat them when they're old. But that's just... That's just that's just how it is, you know, when you're living on the in the countryside. But yeah, my bunnies or my rabbits, um, they like the neighbor dog got into our uh, into our garden at one point, and they were in they were in like this pen thing, so they were safe technically. But they like barked at them, and they just had like heart attacks and died. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It was it was really sad, but. Um, <laughs> This is kind of a stupid way to go, right? Like, you're not even actually in danger. Somebody just parks and you fucking die. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's kind, of, it's kind of a lame way to go. But <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't even I wasn't even there for it because that was after my parents were divorced. So I only saw the bunnies like once every two weeks to begin with. And then and then they just died. You know, they were just dead one time when I got back, and it's like, oh, well, shit. It was sad. I was sad about it. I cried, but at the same time, you know, it wasn't. They weren't like my best friends the way a, a cat or a dog probably is to people. They were just kind of there. <laughs> All right. How about we go to Krakow? Yeah, that, that was the only time I've ever had pets, and clearly, clearly, I didn't take good enough care of them for my parents to ever think I needed more. <laughs> I did not wrap them in a towel and throw them out. I only did that to the spider. And honestly, I called my friend, but all I really did was every time I went downstairs to get bread from the freezer, I was like, "Hey, Parker," and he was sitting there, and I was like. Yeah, exactly, but, well, my my mom is also, or used to be, allergic to um, to animal hair, so that was part of the reason. And honestly, these days, I don't think I'd want a pet, because it, oh my god, don't end right there, okay. Because it just seems like effort, like more effort than I'm willing to deal with. Um... And at the moment, you know, I, I work too much and I'm not home enough to justify getting a pet. Like, it would be bad for me and the pet, no matter what it is. Like, I thought about getting a lizard, maybe. Those are kind of cool. And I I brought that up with my mom as well back when we were still living together. Because, you know, they don't they don't want a fur. But um, she was like, no. Lizards are disgusting. And she's, like, terrified of snakes and stuff. Which sucks. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared of snakes as well, but only poisonous ones. So I was gonna, I kind of wanted like a, um, like a constrictor snake. So I don't think those would be scary. But yeah, no, no snakes for me. No lizards. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gone to Scarfy. I shouldn't have gone. Tired. <laughs> no. Oh, 
Oh, that's not even my name. There. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, but it's not gonna kill me, right? If they, if they bite, so it's not as bad. Am I moving forward or am I moving backwards at this point? I cannot tell. Sukwinia. Oh. Oh no, that's rough. I feel like if you handled them correctly, though, it wouldn't it wouldn't do that, right? Maybe we should just get like fish. Although no, fish are kind of fish are a shitty pet. I think they're kind of boring. Honestly, ever since I read Kudra, I'm a little bit more terrified of big dogs than I ever was. Not even, not even about because I think they're gonna like get possessed by the spirit of an of like a serial killer and go rabbit. But <laughs> just reading Kujo made me made me think about like how strong dog jaws are, you know, like about how a dog like that Kujo of C. It's a Stephen King book about the dog that goes rabbit because he's possessed by the spirit of a serial killer <laughs> um sort of sort of kind of not really uh it's kind of it's implied that it, that is what happens but it's not really that part is not relevant the part that is relevant is that he's rabbit um but it just made me think about you know how a like a shit what is it called the the, the breed of dog it is um like a, sh is it a shepherd no it's not that um big ones Swiss looking guys. Anyway, just about how big dogs in general, I guess, absolutely have the ability to like crush a skull. You know, if they were, if they actually wanted to go for it, a dog could absolutely like crush every single bone in your body if it went for it. You know, it, it could, it could. It's not going to usually, but it has the the hidden possibility of doing that. <laughs> like the the ability is there, and. That's just so terrifying to think about. Yeah, like it has the potential. And that's and that's why I'm kind of more scared of big dogs now. I've always been a bit scared of dogs, to be honest. Yeah, St. Bernard, that's what it was. Thanks. I was thinking like the, the Swiss, Swiss mountain dog. <laughs> and St. Bernard's, that's extra sad. St. Bernard's are like kind of my, one of my favorite breeds because they're so cute. But also, Jesus. <laughs> But I always thought it would be it would be cool to have a like a massive white dog. Like just a big big old I don't even know what breed, just like a extra fluffy dog and call him Washington. I don't know why, I just really I just really want a giant dog called Washington. I think that would be so cool. But also I'm scared of big dogs, so <laughs> not happening. Yeah, something like that. If I got a cat, I'd also want like a long hair. But it would be asked to like clean up after it. It's something like a like a Norwegian horse cat, um, something like that. They're so cute. I love fluffy cats. My neighbor actually had uh, something similar. I don't remember what Brita does. Um, what are they called? Uh, yeah, a Maine Coon. Actually, that's what she had. A Maine Coon. <laughs> His name was uh, De Niro, like Robert De Niro, which I think is an amazing name for a cat. Um, based on that, maybe I'd name mine Clooney. <laughs> I think that'd also be a good name. I'm actually not sure if hers was a Maine Coon or some kind of mix. It was like gray, and I don't think Maine Coons come in gray, but maybe they do. But it was some sort of designer cat anyway. Expensive as shit, probably. Like everything she owns. Oh, alright. <laughs> Maybe they do come in grey then. Uh... 
I think maybe after after this, after I die here, um, I'm gonna take a break and make some tea. But we're not we're not stopping yet. I want this stupid achievement. It's happening. It's happening today. But I just wanna. I kind of want something to drink. I actually should just hydrate in general. Maybe I don't even need tea. Maybe I just need to drink the water that's right next to me. But I kind of want something warm. The good news is my throat's not really bothering me yet. Which I was expecting because I had a pretty bad throat ache yesterday. And also kind of this morning when I got up. But looks like it's looks like it's done. Speaking of being done. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna make myself some tea or or cocoa or something. I'm I'm gonna get something warm to drink. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I'd actually like to get out of the screen first, but did I pause it? Is that what it is? Unpause. Is it unpaused? I can't tell. Let me press start again. Is it unpaused now? Oh, okay. Whatever. I pressed a different button and it worked. Okay. So I'll just be right back. Whee! I'll leave you guys with this awesome music. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. Hey yo. If I just watch this, is it gonna is it gonna get to five hundred thousand points by itself? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> All right, I got my tea. It's still steeping though, but um, actually, let me drink some water. Hitting the mic, being bad. All right. Damn, look at that. He's already at 24k. Oh, he fell. Anyway. <laughs> so I guess you guys were actually not left with good music because at some point the game started playing itself without music. Which, great, good feature. Uh, all right. Yeah, I just saw... Um, thank you, thank you. I just saw Kay's message about... Um, but there being a multiple choice AMQ now? Ew. <laughs> I wanna play AMQ. Can we do AMQ on stream somehow? It can, uh, can, can that work? <laughs> like putting aside the, the whole copyright claim issue. I guess... The problem would be that you guys would hear the songs on my like stream audio and then on your own audio and that would be hell. So I guess if I only stream my like my voice. Ooh, minigame! Man, we haven't done this one in forever. Um Oops. Probably no. Kirby, no! He went up in flames! Oh god, again. Sorry, Kerbster! But yeah, if I, if, I, if I didn't stream like the actual game audio, I guess it would work, but then you'd have to join the, the room if you wanted to hear the actual music. Did it work? I don't know. Oops, sorry, Kerbster. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. I feel like you don't get that many points in that compared to the, the soccer minigame. I feel like soccer is better. Oh, whatever. The stage feels like it's better for points though, as long as you don't go into the scarfy room. At which point it gets terrifying. Okay. 
Can I hit the sun ever, do you think? Okay. I think that's a no. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like... Oh, I guess there's the option of, like, yeah, the answer box of you guys cheating as well. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it might be too hard. Maybe we'll just have to do it on, like, Discord or something. Just regular. No stream. <sighs> Boy! What was that? What was that all about? Hmm. <laughs> A friend asked me if I wanted a, a Stephen King display. And I... I'm very curious as to what that means. <laughs> like, what, what, what does it entail? For context, she also works uh, at a bookstore. So it should be something like a... Like a promotional thing to advertise a book. But I'm just really wondering what it is specifically. Personally, I'm hoping for, like, a, a life-size Stephen King cardboard cutout. <laughs> she asked me if I wanted it, and I said yes, so I guess I'll find out. Um... <laughs> I hope- <laughs> I hope it's a life-size uh, cardboard cutout, but... <laughs> that wouldn't be very practical for a, a store, so I'm, it's probably not that. But it should be. Honestly, it should be. Jesus. Alright. Come on, Kirby. Oh. Alright. Well, never mind. We're skipping the umbrella, apparently. That works. Oh! Don't. Give me tomato. No, don't go that way. Don't make the tomato obsolete. Absolute? <laughs> Imagine being able to talk. No, oh, Curbster. Oh yeah, this is already my second Kirby, isn't it? Hmm. his favorite books and if anybody says Harry Potter you're banned I'm just kidding but only all I'm like half kidding <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah but that's the that's the whole that's the whole issue right isn't it the, the but that comes at the end of that ah you fool. Bone compass and the subtle knife. No, subtle? Subtle knife? Never read the golden compass. Or seen a movie, for that matter. It's a classic, right? No! <laughs> I've read Narnia. Which... I always associate those things with each other, because I feel like it was the same kind of era, in a way. Dante's Inferno. It's... Tybo. Oh, it is ball time. Amber spyglass. Okay, man, Tybo, you missed everything today. You, you missed Moby Dick. You missed the trauma dumping. You missed Mount of Conte Cristo. <laughs> Mount of Mount of Conte Cristo, which is an epic 
gay tale about horses or something. <laughs> Hand holding in the sperm, wearing the whale dick, etc., etc. Shit talking James Cameron's av avatar. <laughs> Dude, it's been it's been a stream. I've just been playing pinball. I, I have nothing to talk about <laughs> except everything. <laughs> you my brother in Christ, Kirby, I need you to calm down. <sighs> Alright. No. No! I forbid you- oh. I was about to say I forbid you from going down the hole, but then he went- he did that! Oh, you're Josie? What the fuck? Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Josie. Josie, drop me a follow, Josie. <laughs> let me let me bribe you. Oh, I'm not sure if you can change the name without making like a new account. I've never tried to change my Twitch channel title name. Oh you can? Nice. Um, Kirby, are you gonna drop down ever? Thank you. <gasps> Not like that! <laughs> Alright, that, that was my fault. I didn't phrase it correctly. I'm sorry, Kirby. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it! So let's just be friends again, okay? Let's just be friends again. Let's just be friends again! Let's just be friends again! Good Kirby friends who are friends and score points together and don't fall in holes and don't screw each other for no reason! <sighs> it's fine. I just, I just have to get 250,000 points on this one Kirby. That's doable. That's super doable. It's doable. I swear to God, it's doable. See? Like, mm, kind of like that. <laughs> what does he do it all the time remind me of? Oh, it's... It's that song. <laughs> Kirby! Kirby, come on! You didn't need to do that. Um, what is that called? Um, uh, what is it called? I can't think of it right now. It's like an, it's by, I don't know how, but they found me. I think it's just called do it all the time, isn't it? <laughs> It's a good band name, though, isn't it? Yeah, Ty knows what I'm talking about. We listen to the same stuff, apparently. <laughs> oh god. It is a good song, right? I like it. I like it too. Ty, do you listen to, um... What's your name? Half Alive, as well. I feel like it's a similar vibe, in a way. <laughs> You should. My favorite song by them is um, Still Feel. Look it up. Well, I'll sing it to you. If you don't look it up. <laughs> Wait, actually, is that a threat? Or uh, like a promise? I'm not, I'm not really sure. It's more of a threat, honestly. Like, the people have heard me singing Heidi today. They know it's a threat. They don't want to repeat that. I'm sure. No. I can't sing with the, the Kirby melody in my ear. Anyway, and I actually don't- I can't remember it even right now. 
No, that, no, you don't want to hear that. You heard Heidi. It was bad. You, you don't need that again. Oh, can you just bounce into the freaking star if you're not gonna come back to the flipper, you little shithead? Love you, Kirby. <sighs> I should I should do like actual lyrics for the Kirby song. Kirby, Kirby, why do you refuse to get the points? Kirby, Kirby, stop going into the hole. <laughs> Yeah, that was the right amount of syllables, right? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> no, I don't know why you guys are reacting to that. Like with that. To that. I don't I don't think that's appropriate. Unless you're crying and in, in pain. No more no more Heidi today. No more singing. Ah! I guess Kirby wanted the singing. Kirby! I was about to say, Kirby, I'll kill you, but I promised no death threats today, so... Or I didn't exactly promise, but... Oh, look at that! You got a name change. Now you can follow me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just being annoying. But I'm, I'm at like 42. We're almost at emotes. I just want to give you guys emotes, you know? Please. It's for your sake as well as for mine. Don't you little f fool you fool you fool you 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 hoo -hoo. no you 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 <laughs> that was the saying that was howling um also did somebody wait. I just realized somebody earlier said I was say sa sa I don't agree. I'm super say so. What are you talking about? Just because I want to drink cat milk and hold hands inside whale sperm doesn't mean doesn't mean I'm not say so. Also, for the record, I don't want to drink cat milk. I just want to know if it's real. I just want to know if it's out there, okay? Yeah, sub badges. I haven't actually made any. Oops. Can somebody teach Josie how to follow? <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of starting to to suspect that might be the issue. Or maybe she just hates my content. I don't know. But she's been here for a couple hours, so... <laughs> she's Wait, did I miss that? I'm sorry, Josie. I'm sorry, Josie. I'm so sorry. Today was the first time I saw you in, in chat, so I thought... I said... Oh, oh I'm sorry. You were, you were a fan all along. I apologize. It was just because today it said um, it was your first message in chat, and also you know I didn't I didn't put your username to your face, so I guess I I forgot when I saw it the first time. If that makes sense, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Georgie. Do we have? What do we have? Oh, uh, do we? Oh yeah, I guess we do. Pog. Except not Pog, because we don't like that meme anymore, right? Didn't that get cancelled? Isn't that why we have the hype gecko now? Oh my god, Taiwo, wait, you've been following me for four months? That's not- I hadn't even started then. What is that? That's crazy. Oh my god, everyone. Okay, who who's gonna win this contest? I think it's gonna be Taiwo. I think the only one that's been following me longer than Taiwo would be... Somebody I know in real life, probably, and then I'm not sure if there is anyone. Yeah, I don't know people in real life, that's what I'm saying. No, I just don't think anybody actually followed me on Twitch. <gasps> 64k! Yes! 
We got the good shit! Alright. Oh, this is the last life though. Shit. I really would have needed that 128. I'll be honest. That would have been some good stuff, dude. For the record, this is not singing either. Hiya! Oh no. Yeah, frosty, frosty mini game. Honestly, like the soccer is good. When it goes well, it goes well. But I feel like I feel like Scarfy, Scarfy stage. Oh god. Okay. Scarfy stage just gives more more points in general. Oh my god. 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 <sighs> god. <sighs> I hope nobody has. Yeah. Actually, I feel I feel I feel I yeah like a hydrate and a shrimp check because that's what I'm bad at. Definitely no need those. Um. Maybe, maybe I can have like a teach me a sentence in German. <laughs> I'm stealing from you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Glover's not gonna be channel point redeem. Glover's gonna be like the 1,000 sub goal. <laughs> Glover is not happening. Okay. I was actually. Uh, Basically about to steal your uh, your subathon ideas as well. Not gonna lie. Like when I was looking at, um, because I don't know how to how to like um, do like the increments, like the time. Do you know what I mean? Like how much time a thing should add and stuff like that. I feel like I could come up with some goals, and I do want to do something like your your pizza thing. I think that'd be funny. Silly goose, you Kirby, you little fool. You're so funny when you do that. <sighs> what were we talking about before Kirby got annoying again? I feel like I was about to go on a whole story thing. Oh, no, it was just about singing. We don't need to talk about that. I take it back. I was about that still alive song that I... Or, wait, still half alive. Still feel. There we go. I always, <laughs> I always combine their their name with the, the title of that song. This is another one I really like that I can't remember the title of now. Something about gold, gold or golden in the title. I don't know. I don't recall. It sounded like Scooby Doo just then because it said like row instead of no, because it was a combination recall and no, as you do. That's a thing that happens to me a lot, like combining words. When I'm talking, because I'm like, yeah, yeah, roll, roll. Um, because I'm just like, my my brain and my mouth do not match up sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean a lot of times. It happens a lot. Ooh. Shake. There we go. No, there we don't go. Why did he not grab it like the, the other time there? <gasps> Curbster! Kirby! That was a clutch golden tomato just then. <gasps> Alright, bitches. World Championship. Here I come. Messy in the house. Oops. Oops. Is Messy even good anymore? Wait, didn't he retire? Not Messy. Somebody that's good and still active. I don't know any soccer players. The only one I know is like this Austrian guy that I got a... I got a signature from. Like a, an autograph. But I don't know what's what he's doing at this point. Why are these shots all so weak? This this is not good. It's a bad soccer. Oh my god! And I keep hitting the balls with the balls and like, what was that? Other than super not good. Oh my tea! 
Oh, it's gonna be so oversteeped. Uh, heck. Yeah, but I thought he retired. Ugh, like I thought that was his last, uh, his last thing. Shit, it was in there for like 16 minutes instead of like five to eight. Oops. Let's see how bad it is. I mean, it's fruity. I think it shouldn't be too. It's fine. It tastes absolutely normal. I guess you can't maybe, maybe you can't oversee fruity, really. All right. Uh, hold on. Did I move my mic again somehow? How did I do that? I didn't touch anything. Swear to God. All right. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need a tea check. Like, make sure it's not ice cold yet. And make sure the bag's out. Shoot. Don't go all the way down. Oh, I did? I'm sorry. Oh no, I got rid of the golden tomato. I don't like that. <gasps> Ooh, warp star. Do I want to go back to Scarfy if I hit that? Or do I just not? Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna hit it anyway. Oh! Mm. <sighs> We're at one life remaining. No. We're going over here. Oh, like, two lives. Including this one. I guess it's just a boost out of the hole. Yeah, the problem with my mic is that it's like a USB mic, so it has a cable um, coming out of the bottom. I mean, I guess that's all mics, not just USB mics. But anyway, it has a cable. And um, the way it's positioned, it's it's very risky. Like, I can absolutely accidentally touch the cable, and that makes disgusting sounds. But if I position it somewhere else, it's not going to be close enough to my mouth to sound good anymore. Actually, I'm not even sure it is right now. Um, so it's like a whole, it's a whole thing. And if I move it too far up to where the cable wouldn't be in the way anymore, uh, I couldn't see the screen. <laughs> so, I guess the solution would be to get a, a stand for my screen and get it higher up. Actually, actually that probably is what I should do, isn't it? Make my screen higher. Is that how the streamers do it? Uh, that would make so much sense. <laughs> I've been wondering about that the whole time, like how to get the how to get the mic out of my way. I guess maybe a higher screen, yeah. I have a mic arm, yeah, I have a mic arm. Shoot. Part of the issue uh, as well though is that my table um <laughs> I phrased it as it doesn't have sides before, which people looked at me weird for. But basically it's like um Imagine like a U-shape, like standing on its head. That's what my table looks like. So the sides are like connected all the way down. Oh my god. So you can't, um, you can't clamp anything to the sides. So my, uh... <sighs> my, my mic arm is like clamped to the back of my desk. Because that's the only way to get it on there. <laughs> so it's coming in from a pretty awkward angle already. Um, an N shape? Uh, I guess an N shape, yeah, sure. If that makes you feel better. <laughs> Small N. Yep, like that. Or like a horseshoe. <laughs> you know, who's horseshoe, don't you? That's right, <laughs> it's the Mount of Conte Cristo. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down, you. <laughs> Calm. Collected. Focused. Oh god. Not focused at all. Unfocused. 
God. God. I've been saying God and Jesus a lot. <laughs> I hope nobody minds um, me taking the Lord's name in vain because, oh boy, has it been happening. Fellas? What is this? Circle. It's because the circle is A in this game and it's confusing. Or maybe it is B. But it's the the right flipper is B. Or circle. You know? That's why I'm confused. And that's why I keep hitting circle to confirm when I'm in the menu. Ayo? Maybe that's why soccer is mistreating me, is because of the whole god thing. I feel like Messi seems like a very religious person. Maybe I'm making that up. I feel like I feel like that's just the kind of vibe I get from South America in general. Maybe. Is that racist? I'm sorry. I don't mean it like that. What's the problem? Is it the squid? <laughs> Is it just the squid being mean? Oh, that's true! I haven't said World Cup. Mmm, you got a point there. You got a point there. I gotta say, I gotta say World Cup. That's why, that's why I'm getting sponsored by UEFA, right? Because it's the Champions League. Shit. Yeah, I can't get my sponsorship if I keep messing up like that. Haha, <laughs> messing up like that. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. I gotta get on that. Actually, I don't think I want to be sponsored by Wayfa. Aren't they like super like corrupt and shitty? <laughs> also, I just realized how weird it sounds when I say that with like an English sort of accent thing. You know what I mean? Like Wayfa. It sounds like it sounds like wafer. Wayfa. <laughs> It's not Spanish. It's it's French, I think. Like it's an acronym and it stands for a French thing that's like, I don't know, United Soccer Association or whatever the shit. European is in there too, I think. <laughs> Nez, teach me some Spanish. Yeah, wait for. UEFA. Did I put that into the stream title or did I just mean to? I thought I did. No, it's like it's French. I promise you it's French. Like that's probably what it what it ends up being, but it's like it's in French. <laughs> sense the fucking a is not at the end of that <laughs> what is that really it that seems wrong oh so so the so the acronym is english what the fuck <laughs> what did i read on wikipedia earlier then <laughs> i'm so confused now interesting yeah it's like it's like french people are just allergic to english right like can't even leave the fucking acronym alone. God. Union der Europäischen Fußballverbände. UDEF! The UDEF! Do 
But I swear to god, when I went on Wikipedia, um, like the first thing it said was like some kind of French bullshit in brackets. So I thought- I didn't look at it proper. I just thought that UEFA itself stood for some kind of French bullshit. You know, European Football Association? UF UEFA! UEFA! Union des Associations Européennes. Oui. 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 <laughs> How do you say EU in in French? Oi. 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 You know, I had French for a year in elementary school. The only thing I remember is you're not supposed to see the S in Paris! Sorry, that probably popped the mic really bad. Paris. And also remember how to say my name is because je m'appelle. Oh, and also remember la vache, which means the cow. And I think a couple of colors, maybe. Paris! Lavash. So yeah, I remember about as much French as I remember... Um... Oh yeah! Yeah, and that's what the cheese is named after. You know that cheese, that dipping cheese, Kiri? Um... Blau? That's German. <laughs> but yeah, Kiri the cheese, it's, it's named after the laughing cow. That's why there's a cow on it. But it's spelled different. It's spelled like K-R-I... K-I-R-I. There we go. But it's... that's the joke. Yeah, that's just like how to cow... I think it's like a pun, so it's probably not spelled the same way anyway. But that's just how the cheese is spelled. Bleu? That means blue. And there's blanc. Although, wait, is blue spelled like that or does it have another E at the end? No, it's, it is like that. Blanc has a... How do you spell blanc? Like blank, but with a C. And is there an E on that one? I don't remember. But it means white. Like Mont Blanc. And then, um... I remember, I remember, like, yellow was really hard to remember. No, I think it's the first one. I feel like the second thing means something else. Noir is, is is black, obviously, but I said it with a weir really weird like English accent. Noir. Um, I think we also learned brown, but I don't remember that. But it was kind of like maroon, like close to maroon. Um, no, I think it's without the e. La chat noir, or something. It's like the black cat. I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing Kirby because of French lessons. Um, um, rouge is like red. Rouge. And then I think we learned pink too, but I don't remember. Jean. Yeah, okay. And then I'm assuming green is something like verd or something similar. Uh,. Oh my god. Is that where the, 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 the sickness comes from? Like jaundice or what's, whatever it's called? Jaundice? Isn't that where you turn yellow? Isn't that like a liver thing? Windmill. <laughs> Very specific word. Vert. Verte. Probably vert. French weird. Yeah, thanks Google. Jaundice. Wait, is that what it's called? Jaundice? Where you turn yellow because your liver dies. That's probably called that because of French, right? Oops. Moulin Rouge. This is a cordon rouge. Cordon rouge? Which is like a cordon bleu, except it's naked. I think. Like it's not breaded. I think that was, that's what cordon rouge is. Cordon bleu. Everybody knows cordon bleu. It's like schnitzel with, with cheese and ham in it. 
It's crazy. <sighs> but cordon bleu actually just means like blue cord. I don't know why. Like a blue string. It's probably some kind of stupid reason. Some kind of fake history somebody made up about the name to make it make sense. Oh yeah, Kirby, stay up there. Oh, okay, I don't know that. I also remember how to say my name in Russian. Honestly, I'm not sure if I remember more Russian than French. I don't think so. And that's honestly sad because I had Russian for three years and I had French for one year in elementary. So it's like... I have... I have ten years. Nice. <laughs> It's like, I've got 10 more years to live. <laughs> I'm 10 years old, but I only have 10 years left. <laughs> I like that we're all talking about a language that we all barely have any like knowledge of. So it's, it's probably a really good look. We're getting a lot right, I'm sure. And you learned German? You want to have a conversation? <laughs> Let's talk. You can maybe understand. Um, I, I don't actually want to talk German. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't speak German. Wait, I just realized I can't freaking see the screen proper because my water bottle's in the way. What an idiot! Why did I put it there? Anyway, <laughs> I was like trying to glance over at something that was like, why can't I see it? Oh, there's a freaking semi-translucent water bottle in front of it. That will do it! Yeah, um, we can do a channel point redeem where I teach you a sentence. I don't think I want to just speak German. Like, you want me to just commentate the, the stream in German? That would be awful. Like, why would you want that? <laughs> I don't even like speaking German. <laughs> I only do it because it's a necessity. Translate the lyrics to a Rammstein song. I could do that. Do one for Japanese. I don't- my Japanese is not good enough. Like if I- if I just tried streaming Kirby in Japanese, it would just be like, Ah, shimatta, shimatta, ah, 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 yada, yada! <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's it, that, that, would, that would be the whole stream. Speaking of yada, I don't wanna. Yada! Yada! <laughs> yada yo. Ken probably speaks better Japanese than me, let's be real. I haven't I haven't actively spoken Japanese in Oh my god. Three years. I don't remember shit. Oh my god, Kirby! It's just we disappoint. <laughs> I don't think that's proper French either. <laughs> ah! Shake. Le Corby. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say in English too, so it works. Le Corby is disappointing me! Please stop! <laughs> God! He's just punishing me for being weird about French. I'm sorry, Carpster! Just... Kirby of the stars. Huh! <sighs> Intense. Shaking. Oh my god, that like really launches him. Holy heck. There we go. No. No, Kirby. Kirby bad. 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 Yeah, I haven't been able to focus enough, by the way, to, s to sing that. 
Half-Life song. Like, even if I wanted to, I can't... I can't do it right now. <laughs> oh my god! Why? We're not even at 100... Okay, we're at 100k now, but... We're barely at 100k and it's the third life! This isn't going anywhere. This isn't happening. I don't believe. You know, there should be no reason. There should be no reason that I can't go infinitely. Really? Like, if I can live for five minutes, I should be able to live for ten. You know what I mean? It's not like the game ever changes. It's always the same game. Why can I- why can I not live forever? <laughs> you know? Like, what is- what is up with that? It's not like the difficulty ever increases, it's just the same stupid two-button game. Oh my god, Kirby! Um... I'm gonna drink my tea. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? I have- I have the capability. I have the potential. I have the skill. To not fall into the hole. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm using my mouth to stir. <laughs> That's why. Ah. Uh, yep. Oh, I didn't actually mean to go into the middle stage. Before. I don't want to. Nez, the reason I'm not doing the 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 left stage is every time I go into the bottom, I am guaranteed to be dead after. Like I have never made it back out of that. I don't know how. Oh, Kirby! I don't want that one. <laughs> yep. Sure. Actually, I haven't, um... I've actually, uh... Swallowed the teabag hole. And I'm now just drinking... <laughs> boiling water... To make the tea... Inside my stomach. That's why it's looking a bit weird. Oh, Kirby, you silly goose. Anyway, um... Let's talk about something that isn't Kirby. I don't want to talk about this pink goo ball anymore. <sighs> ah, talk about how stuffy my nose is. How about that? Awful. Awful. <sighs> I'm sorry about all the sniffling. Probably sounds disgusting. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's so freaking typical, right? Like... Really? Do you think so? It's like, the, it's like the only thing keeping me going is talking about something else. And most of the stream has been me talking about something else. And I've been- I've done well sometimes. Oh, please, Kerbster. But yeah, what I was gonna say, it's like... Yeah, right. You know what? Screw this. Give me a better one. Um, what I was gonna say is, this is my first day of vacation, and of course I'm sick, right? Like, why? Why does this always happen to me? It can't just be me, right? Like everybody does this. It's like it's like the adrenaline. I think I think I've posted this on one of Tybo's tweets actually. It's like the adrenaline from like being at work keeps the sick at bay. And like all the stress and shit just keeps you healthy in the worst way possible. Like body's just like, I don't have time to be sick right now. Stop it. And then the second you get on vacation, it's like, oh, let's go. Germs. Let's let them in. Let's hang out. Let's have a freaking party. I need a... Damn it. I need a Hataraku Saibo episode about that. Yo, that was crazy. That was bad. That was good. That was also good. Oh, wait! 
It's the Champions League! <laughs> Alright, it, it didn't, doesn't feel as sincere when I do it like 20 seconds in, but... Let's do it! World Cup! Let's get the freaking world record! Is there a record? Is there a... Do people do records in soccer? I don't know, but I'm doing records. Let's do it! Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> There we go. 16! Come on, 32! Give me 32! I want to see 32! Oh, wait. 32 is like a ball in. Yeah, this is like the plus B now. Boo. Okay. We could get like a crazy multiplier from that as well. Eventually. <laughs> like if we manage to do multiple suckers in one- Come on. In one game. Storage war auction things. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Guessing it's like a TV show. Keep it on storage. Do they see what's in the storage before they do it? Because if not, that would actually be funnier, I think. Oh, okay. From a distance. Okay, interesting. Sounds fun. No, you fool. Ah, I see. <laughs> Come on, you. But yeah, basically, I don't want to. I don't want to be screaming at Kirby every time I fall down. So I need something else to talk about. Uh, but I've kind of talked myself dry here. Um, right. We never really got very far in that favorite book conversation. Other than I haven't read Golden Compass. Taiba, what's your favorite book? You better not say Harry Potter. <laughs> I've already been over this. single favorite book? I've got like 20. <laughs> it's so hard to pick a number one favorite. <laughs> this just in. Taibo can't read. Life. So I continue to have a job for another one and a half years, after which point it won't matter to me anymore. But... <laughs> Just invested in my workplace. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we sell, we sell a lot of manga, especially recently. It's definitely a, there's definitely a boom. Which is good. We got a lot more uh, manga merchandise as well. We got this really cool Death Note noodle bowl thingy, ramen bowl. And I'd buy it if it wasn't fucking Death Note. Like, it looks so good, but it's Death Note. That was so bad. It's because I talked about Death Note. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? That was mean! I didn't even do anything there! That was- that was just nothing! I did! That was just bullying! <laughs> that was Death Note, yeah. <sighs> Shit. But this is a really cool looking bowl, like, it's- it's, um... Kirabi. It's um... It's like black with, with like a little red thing in the middle. I don't remember. I think it's an apple or something. Like inside the bowl itself and then, you know, on, on the outside it says Death Note, which is unfortunate. But the... The colors of it and the design look really cool. If only it wasn't Death Note, you know. Why did I toss it that way? Silly goose. Man, remember early in the in the stream when somebody was here that was actually like good at pinball? 
and he gave me advice. How, how freaking quick did he realize that this stream was not worth watching if you're actually good at pinball? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it really falls apart in the second half. Or like the, the last arc. Basically the second, you know, somebody perishes, it's, it stops. Nope, it certainly was not. Certainly was not somebody I knew. Actually, are spoilers for Definite Fair Game yet? Like, how old is that show? 32! I want to see 64! Come on! Oh, maybe it was better when it was nonchalant about it, honestly. I think it was. Prehistoric. You know, people still people still like freaking recommend Death Note to people like starting out with anime. It's like Really? Somebody's never watched anime before and you're gonna say Death Note should be the starting point? I don't know about that. You know? It's like maybe maybe like 10, 15 years ago, sure, but it's just at this point just pick something else, you know. Yeah, it's a classic starter anime. That's the problem, is that it's a classic. It's not actually... It's not even that good. It's like, it's outdated at this point. There's definitely, there's like better things. It's not even that it doesn't hold up in that way. It's more like, it was never that good to begin with and now you just have better options. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't press any buttons there, so that was on me. I feel like I'm, my vision's getting worse, by the way, just from looking at this stupid game. I mean, this great game. Amazing game. Good game. GG. <sighs> I feel like something like My Hero Academia is also very digestible, and it's modern, you know? Not necessarily better in a lot of ways, and definitely... And definitely you don't continue after the first season. Because the anime gets kind of not good. I'll be honest, the animation really dies. Yeah, second season is true. You don't need to start uh, stop after first one. Just, just don't keep going forever. I think the third one was still good, or am I am I confusing that now? I definitely remember the fourth one was not not good. have the golden tomato always like can we do that it's not even like it saves my life 100 percent of are you kidding me 100 percent of the time you know it just stops that from happening from him just like him just going straight down really... yeah no but i also wouldn't recommend your drama romance shoujo little sis death note i mean <laughs> But the kind of people I'd recommend definite to would be the people I'd alternatively recommend not definite to. Oh, Attack on Titan it was also, would also be a tough sell, especially after the, the last seasons. The last that aren't the last. Um, I feel like it starts out pretty pretty cool. But it, it's not a starter anime, you know? It's like... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um... It starts just being like a political drama. <laughs> it's like, I guess if you like, I don't know, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Is that comparable? Not really. But. <sighs> Honestly, yeah, but it wasn't even Mappa's fault. Like, it's the story at that point just went, you know? Oh my god. I mean, I think it's very bingeable at the beginning. I haven't actually finished finished it. I don't remember. Is the, is the last season even out? 
uh, I don't know. I didn't watch the final season, final part 3, X version 2.0 or whatever. I, I watched the one that's called final season, that isn't the final season, so. Okay, it's not. Okay. I'm assuming it's ending at the same time that Gintama is. Which is when hell freezes over. <sighs> Please. <laughs> I just made it back up there. Come on. Kirby, roll. Jesus Christ. Anybody here main Kirby in Smash? Anybody here play Smash? <laughs> Why? I hate you, Scarfy! Why would you spawn under Kirby and put Kirby right back into the hole? That makes no sense! <sighs> okay. I need to- I really need to talk about something else so I can calm down. I swear, I'm just losing it over Kirby over here. Had it. Yo, fate, but start on- start on, like, unlimited play work, so... <laughs> Don't start on Stay Night. Even if it's technically not the correct order. Stay Night, it's not- unless you're gonna play the visual novel. Just don't start on Stay Night. It's not like they've made- actually, where's- where's my freaking re-adaptation of Stay Night? That's an actual adaptation of Stay Night instead of an unholy amalgamation of all three routes. Where is that? Somebody get Yufa table on that, please. Please. Don't start with Cooking Fate, it's the best one. Like, I- I'm all- I'm all behind supporting, uh, Imiya san chi no kyo no gohan because it's the best Fate entry. Like, straight up, it's just the best one. But, it's not as good if you don't know the characters first. Like, you need- you need the engagement. You need to be invested in the characters. You need to be like, oh my god, I can't believe the hot Lance fighting guy that I'm into is just living a casual good life. Right? So you gotta- you gotta watch something else first. Like, Unlimited Play works. Yeah, I watch Zero. I guess that works too as a first. But, I don't know. Personally, it's just like, Blade works better than Zero, so I'd start with that. But, either works. Either is fine. I also just don't like, um... Uh, you know, the guy. Why did I forget his name? Kirio. The daddy. As in, Emiya's father. <laughs> not as in he's daddy, because he's not. He's very unattractive to me. But, um, don't start with that one. I mean, do start with that one if you want. What was I saying? I was just saying I don't like that one as much. There we go. I just don't like Zero as much as I like Unlimited Blade Works. And also don't start with Imiya-san, Chino Kyo no Gohan. Because you need to know the characters first. Oh, Dr. Stone's a good one. Dr. Stone's one that I would recommend to, to like, gamers. I've, I've said this multiple times, but Dr. Stone always gives me those, like, endorphins that I also get from unlocking achievements. Because you just, you know, you're, like, seeing their progress um, as they're, like doing stuff, rebuilding society. <laughs> and then in that way it feels it feels similar to like a kind of linear game. Um I think. That's always the, the kind of vibe I get from it. Gah! So it's like it's like my gamer wreck. <laughs> I can't wait for the new season. I read the manga so I know what's about to happen but I haven't finished it because it's not finished publishing in, in German. But we got some good shit getting uh, coming up. Oh, I got you to watch it? Nice. Oh, I like the later part. I mean, I like the beginning better, honestly, but... I like where it goes. It's fun! <laughs> I mean, I think... I'm somewhat close to the end-ish. I don't remember. But we're over like 20, at least. I don't even know which antagonist at this point. We got a couple. 
but um very first one uh that one might not be as much of an antagonist as you probably think if it is who i think it is oops where's my curveball <laughs> curveball get it plus um plus m oops sorry carby Oh my god. I also forgot his name, but I'm assuming you're talking about the... Jutsukasa? The... the brown-haired guy with the long hair. Who wants to... Uh, he's kind of like Hitler. <laughs> like he's trying to get rid of the bad people. Well, the, the adults, I think. Just in general. <laughs> he's not trash. He's great. We love Tukas in this house. <laughs> Look, he has character development, okay? You gotta you gotta you can't trash him if you haven't finished it. That's what that's all I'm gonna say. I'm just thinking about Katja now, like in Hero Academia. In a similar way, like you can't you can't hate Katja if you've never gotten to the part where his character gets developed in a good way. Never awful. Thank you. I'll try have fun. Learn. <laughs> I'll try to have a nice dream. Katja is absolutely awful. Like maybe he's not trying to kill most of humanity, but he's. <sighs> Does the anime make it extra annoying? I don't remember. Maybe I'm too in love with him to know, but um, he's definitely he's definitely awful. Like, he's so fucking toxic. <laughs> he's awful, awful. <laughs> like I love him, but he's just a very bad person. <laughs> And I mean, you get some of his reasoning later, which is what I think um, justifies a bit of it, but not really. But, you know, it's okay to like characters that are bad people, but he, he's not a good person. <laughs> okay. Bye, Daibo. Bye, Arma. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> I should probably go to sleep too, this is not going well. My hand's gonna hurt. Ah, I just wanna do it. I just wanna finish. More barrel than cry baby Diku. Ah, oh, Diku's kinda cute though. I think I accidentally paused the game again and I can't tell. There we go. I think triangle seems to work. Whatever button that is. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Apparently it's like a... Wait, do we have that on this side too? <laughs> what if I just play like this? <laughs> Where's the... There must be one for the other side as well. Hold on. Hold on. Cause that's like a, what is that, like a boost button? Like a, a spam? Turbo fire. Turbo default button B. Ah, uh, it's only on one button then. Alright. 
I kind of... I kind of genuinely want to try just holding that and then controlling the other flipper and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't actually think this is going to be a, like, a good strat at all. Looks stupid, that's for sure. The freaking sound it makes. <laughs> he goes so far. Dude, I need to be able to aim. <laughs> There's just no point in doing that. Alright. See this? That was skill. That's proof that I'm not just pressing random buttons anymore. I've actually learned a little bit since since those days. Not a lot. Let's be real. Not a lot, but a little bit. Last time we did a boss fight, I feel like it's been a hundred years. Is this the one? Oh god, don't roll off. Okay. That's like one of the things this- oh fuck. This stage has over frosty. I feel like it's easier to get the boss fight once I'm up here. And the boss fight's a lot of points. I wonder- maybe I'd get like 500,000 just for beating it. You know, for all I know that might actually happen. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but it could. <laughs> it very well could. Kirby, my man. You didn't need to do that. <sighs> ah. No, don't go in the hole, Kirby. You don't like that here. Damn. Two bosses. I can't even imagine beating one. <laughs> uh. I guess so. I mean, I do feel like I've been able to get. Uh, to be like more consistent with some things, but there's some stuff like hitting this umbrella right here I can't I can't like control that like it happens or it doesn't I Got nothing don't go in the hole. I will kill you <sighs> Maybe I just need to start talking about the amount of Conte Cristo again. Oh, no <laughs> the second I said it Okay, clearly I don't. Clearly I don't! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't need to, I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> no reason to be mean about it. Kirby! What'd you do that for? Alright, well I guess I'm back up here at least. 
Kirby! I just said! <laughs> Is he? Am I? Oh, am I gonna fall into the big way? Uh, the big way, the top boy? I am. I'm starting to become less lucid, I think. <laughs> Nothing's making sense in my in my brain anymore. That's also a song lyric, isn't it? Moving words across the terrain. Nothing's making sense in my brain. That's... I think that's flutes? <laughs> Is what that's called? That song? No! <sighs> God. I wish I... I wish I could like... Maybe I should look into the button... The... yeah. A hot chip. Um... Into the button settings? Yep, it's that one. Um, to see if I could change the shake to like a trigger, just so I can do it without taking my hands off the Jesus Christ, the 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 the, 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 the two buttons I need to actually hit the the flaps, flap, flippies. That's a good song. Oh, I think the next time was only to discover I've aged. I was trying to remember it and I couldn't. Hands hurt. <laughs> Can't hold the freaking controller anymore. <sighs> okay. Oh, all the way up. Nice. My neck is stiff too. Oh, something about the way I'm sitting. Ah! Can't even get mad anymore. No energy left. it. I think that was the last one. I'm kind of- my neck is stiff. I'm out of juice. <sighs> I can't do it. I cannot do it. I mean we still- we still got one more day. We can try again tomorrow. I was hoping to stream something else tomorrow but <laughs> yeah it's been like five hours. <laughs> I think it's about time we stop, honestly. <sighs> we tried. There was an attempt. Oh, hold on, let me... Let me move my ass. Uh... Yeah, I just really wanted that Kirby achievement. I thought, I thought we could do it. I thought we could do it. But, ah, uh, everything hurts. I need to... Oh, I need to stretch my neck so bad. Um, yeah, we can we can do another try tomorrow. Um, oof. I mean, most people most people left by now, but let's find us a raid, okay? Let's find us a raid, finish this off proper. But yeah, we're um. Uh, we're gonna be meeting back here again tomorrow, and ooh, Pixel Weezy streaming. That's good. I think we're gonna. I kind of want to watch that, so let's let's raid him. Uh, oh wait, first, here's your raid message. Come pick it up, or not? Come on, bot. Hello, night bot. Not night bot. The other one. He really is buggy today. Come on. Do I have to write it myself? 
Alright. Um so what was I about to say? We're gonna we're gonna be doing the same time again tomorrow. Um Right? Yeah. And I guess we're trying we're trying for the achievement again. Third time's a charm, as they say. Maybe maybe this is the one. Alright. Um, thank you guys for joining uh today. I hope you had fun. <laughs> the gameplay wasn't too riveting this time. But um there's hope. There's hope still. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah. Alright. Time for a raid. Have fun over there. Pixel Weezy is really cool. He does cool Kazooie streams. Is he doing Kazooie right now? Yeah, he's he's like a speedrunner. He's he's a cool guy. Alright. Alright. Bye. Oh wait. Uh oh. okay. There we go. <laughs> Bye.